we start off this week with everyone off the ship because they actually banked it <laughs> and got off the ship because half the crew ended up in the water fighting the stupid thing in the first place. <laughs> so here we are on shore. And we said everybody was going to do a long night's rest. We were going to let it be a good easy night. So it is morning. You all have awoken. And metagamey, you've all leveled up to level five. So congratulations on that. But it is morning, and when you awaken, a fire has been started, and Prime is busy making breakfast for everyone. Hi, Prime. Do you have bacon? Do you have bacon? Do you have bacon? Good morning. No, there was no bacon. However, I did find uh. these rats on the shore, and he holds up some skinned rats. Okay. <laughs> Adrastos, there's some rats for you here. Adrastos will stretch and say, ah, yes, a traveler's breakfast. Uh, sorry, you said that the ship has been healed? It's, it's just off the, off the shore just enough not to damage it, but it is as close to the bank as you can get it. Got it, okay. So. Really take corrosive. If you've never had rat, you should try it. It's not that bad. Can we cook it that. first? Let's cook it. Oh, of Let's course. Cook. I'm not going to eat it without cooking it. Oh, okay. Look, I realize what I look like, but I'm not a savage. <laughs> so Prime will uh, roast your rats, and uh, he will have enough for everyone. Each one of the rats, however, has a, has a small hole all the way through it. Uh, because he was practicing with the javelin that uh, Agrios loaned him to fight the creature. Wow, those are big rats if he could hunt them with a javelin. <laughs> they, have, they have holes in them. So. New York rats. <laughs> One of them tastes like pizza. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, just for that, one of them gets on Ariana's head and starts pulling her hair and she begins to Prepare fancy meals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. Um, I, so to explain Ariana's absence, I, she she probably would have stayed on the ship just to make sure no one else came aboard any weird happenings. Um, so there'll probably be a bit of a sploosh as she jumps off the boat and sort of swims her way to shore and shakes off something she learned from Adrastos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, morning. Um, no more weird happenings. I got the gist of it, but was just trying to keep everything settled under the deck. Not over the night, no. Good. Oh, rat. <laughs> right? You see, everybody, Delicious. everybody doesn't understand when you live in the sewers, sometimes you have to eat what you can get. Absolutely. And rat's no different than squirrel, and squirrel's delicious. Are we all there? Should I, should I have gotten squirrels instead? I apologize. Mm. No, no rat is wonderful. When, you, when you're traveling, meat is meat. Exactly. Do I, do I smell fresh rat? <laughs> See, everyone understands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'll take mine on a stick. <laughs> so we've made our way back to the boat, or Ariana joined us on the beach? Yes, I joined okay. you on the beach. Great. I assume everyone is chomping down enjoying breakfast. And mm. after about half an hour after the sun's come up, um, another ship makes its way along. And when they get to be Oh, about a hundred feet out from your ship, they call out, Oh, anyone there? Adrastos, who no longer trusts anything, uh, is going to dust off his new telescope and look at the people on the boat. Okay. There are four uh, people on this boat. Uh, one of them is the one actively at the front waving and yelling out to you. 
Uh, the others are in the back uh, managing sales and things like that, not really paying much attention to what else is going on except navigating the boat. Bara, recognize any flags? They That's are. A good question. They, sorry. <laughs> no, they <it's> are. A... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That was, that was all. I just, that was all. It's just one of those nights. It's going to be. You're both so precious. I love this. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, they, they they are bearing a flag out of uh, Altrisos, which is on the far side of the peninsula that you are sailing across now. So Melitus is over here. Altrisos is over here. So most likely, like a trading vessel or just like a yeah, simple... it's it's a small it's it's not much larger than yours okay uh, it does have a slightly deeper draft so it's not going to be able to come into shore as well as you did sure okay no not sure um... they wouldn't be able to <laughs> i knew you were gonna say that <laughs> um perfect uh i'll kind of look to adrastos and um like shrug kind of like um well, it's um seems to be just a normal citizen, potentially small trading boat. If they need help, then I suppose we could help, but if they're just saying something to say something, we should probably just pass them on. All right, I'll make some kind of response. And thinking himself the loudest of the group, um Adressus will step forward. Hello! Oh. Are you in need of assistance? No, we were going to ask the same of you. No, this was uh, this was purposeful. We're camping for the evening. Ah, good. Um, how's the weather out in the in the harbor? How is the and weather they continue the to kind of nose in a little bit closer to where you're at. We could take them. I don't think we need to. Okay, but be prepared. Mm-hmm. Always prepared. Mostly clear. Though, make sure you make your offerings to Thassa. She's in a bit of a mood. <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, well, um, they've opened up the uh, the the bay and, and the harbor area outside of Melitus again. Um, we're probably the second ship that's come through. Have you seen anyone else? We haven't, have we? Um, this is player we've seen knowledge, like, I don't remember. <laughs> we've seen a couple random boats um, pass by us, some small, I think maybe one or two bigger, if I remember correctly. So about hmm. accurate to what he said. I will um, relay that information. Uh, the river's been fairly clear and, and calm. Uh, have you encountered any issues, Any anything? Uh, it was fairly clean sailing back. I, I must warn you, though, as you get closer to Melitus, um, something in the bay has upset some of the, the creatures, and they've they've moved up into the bay, the far side of the bay area, up towards the docks, and into the river a bit. So uh, be a little cautious there. Nothing nothing major to be worried about. No krakens in the river or anything. <laughs> we've We've run afoul of a few of the ocean creatures and river creatures, so... We appreciate your warning, but unfortunately, it comes too late. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, well, and they pull in a little bit closer. <laughs> uh, um, as he says, sorry to hear that, um, Adrasa says, no, no, you shouldn't be sorry for us, and just taps the shark jaw on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you hail from? Uh... <laughs> I'm going to lean to Vara. Should we tell them the truth? I, I, this is. I'm not good at subterfuge. When you when you spend months at sea, um, you like to talk to people any chance you get. So, I don't necessarily think this is poking or hostile. I think they just probably are chatty. <laughs> Getting awfully so, close for being chatty. Mm. Just say we're coming out of data. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. 
We're sailing from Data. Oh, oh, well, gone. We're we're headed to Altricius, so the other direction. Uh... Well, um, good sailing. May the wind be at your back. I would say it's yours, but it can't be in both directions unless Thas is in a really odd mood. <laughs> well, we appreciate the sentiment nonetheless. All right. And they will continue sailing by. The other crew on the back of the will kind of wave as they go by. And they go out of the. <sighs> Sorry you didn't get to kill anything, Agrius. Ah, I know. No one ever listens to me. But for what it's worth, I think we should have torched their sails, plundered their cargo holds, and killed at least three of them. We could leave one alive to deliver the message if he survives. I'm sorry, um, deliver what message? Not to fuck with us. Yeah. All right. Well. There was no fucking with anybody. What are you... <laughs> I I think we've all been through a lot, and we're on our guard, and that's a good thing for the most part. Um, but yes, it's typically best to make friends on the sea rather than enemies, because um, often people are the least of your concerns on the sea. Uh, so having a ship that we know is on the waters that could potentially look out for us or look out for others is, is a good thing. Um, but yes, not don't, don't want to be too trustworthy either. Delicate balance. Uh, uh, how long are we planning to stay here? Shall we head out soon? I was going to say the same. I think we should probably be on our way. Is there any resupplying we can do from the wilderness here. I don't think so. We were already oversupplied as it is. Um, and whenever I don't, we didn't talk about this. Was there any supply loss when the uh, ship threw people off? It just threw things around. Most of the stuff was in a crate until Under one deck, of you yeah. got violent with the crate and broke the crate into pieces. So now it's Sure, but that's loose, not. But... That's, no, that's what that was. That's I spent fine. all last night cleaning it. That's quite all right. It's okay. But I already cleaned it up, so it was okay. No, ah. It's all fine. It's all fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. No. Um. No. I. I. I think we're good. I think, really, just getting off the waters as quickly as possible and moving on to our next destination. Well then, let's get to it. Yeah, I'm on route of duty, and T. Cross will just grab up some packs and start running towards the water. Let's cool. go. As you start running towards the water, um, many of you, when you woke up, would have noticed that Vara was kind of looking out to the sea, um, just pensively and, and, and pacing around and, and trying to obviously practice something. And she goes ahead and looks at Tigros and all of you and says, um, after yesterday, uh, I went ahead and put in some effort to make sure um, that doesn't happen again. And Vara kind of smiles, and you all feel yourselves receive the spell Water Walk. Cool. Hell yeah. Wow. Yeah. The spell grants the ability to move across any liquid surface. Up to 10 willing creatures you can see within the range gain this ability for the duration. For, so for the next hour, you can walk on water. Ooh, yeah. Very cool. Oh. Amazing. Yeah, so Tikaros would start running and then just continue to run despite it reaching the water edge. And Vara would just look very proud to herself and kind of look over to Ad Adrastus, like, see, like, I can I can protect them too. Adrastus cheap. is going to um, put his hand on Vara's shoulder very reassuringly and give it a squeeze and say, well done. And then make his way towards the boat. God, third uh, level spell slot for roleplay purposes. I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I'm about, baby. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Most of my spells are for roleplay purposes anyway. So it's okay. <laughs> High five to that. So are my uh, spells. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna gingerly walk and step into the water and how do how how does it how does it feel? How does the water walk feel with like the waves and like the moving of the water? Is it just kind of like a bubbly, wavy floor? And do you have to intentionally walk on the water or is it a choice? Yeah. Yeah, see, according to I mean, it, the way that the spell is worded says it grants the ability to. Mm -hmm. So I would assume you could make the choice based on the wording of the spell. Um, it also says if a creature is submerged in a liquid, they will float to the surface um, at a rate of 60 feet per pound. Uh, that's interesting. Or per round. Per pound. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait a minute. 60 feet uh, per pound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, dumb. I, I was I'm going to be floating so fast. <laughs> I was about to say, the blue, blue whales just become rockets. Yeah, they just, just go to space. <laughs> um, cool. So it, so it can bring you out of the water. It's its range is only 30 feet, though, so you can't be deeper than 30 feet. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just the ability to. So I, I assume, like, if you're skeptical about it, you may not necessarily walk right away but if you're kind of like obviously making the choice and confident in it um i'd imagine kind of similar to everyone getting their sea legs and kind of describing agrios like adjusting to being on the boat i'd imagine it's almost a similar like you know it's it's foreign but it's not difficult i think it's just kind of you have to get used to it so would it be argued that instead of stepping directly on top of the water, you're just basically buoyant and it's almost like there's a bubble like on the right underneath the surface of the water that you could kind of step on? Yeah, the spell's wording is as if it were harmless solid ground. Sounds good. So uh, I'm I, yeah. so it's mostly After like a steps. mental barrier than it is like an actual but once uh, you figure it out, it's just like walking on just how, regular ground. How long does this last for? This lasts for an hour. All right. Agrios is going to jump over the side of the ship and run on water. He immediately wants to test this. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to just cut off while he's running, and it just looks like when somebody <laughs> just takes a header off skis. <laughs> just... That was the plan. <laughs> is, is, is it concentration duration? Is it? Is that anywhere in there? Is it just an hour? Is it like? Uh, no, it's not concentration. It's just. Oh straight. damn! Yeah. That was <laughs> Your plan failed. You were going to drown Agrios. I know. It. <laughs> <laughs> finally get rid of this guy it if doesn't say she sees... can't cancel it it's true <laughs> Sorry, she can't spell it <laughs> if Adrasso sees Tully being um, hesitant at first he's just going to wait kind of within arm's reach to give Tully the very clear wordless if you go down I got you and then as soon as he gets his sea legs he's just going to keep walking Yeah. Okay. Ariana will make sure that Prime's good to come back I'm fine. Thank you. I will I will finish cleaning up here. I'm happy to help you. That's okay. I have it. Thank you. All right. Yeah, Ari, Var I'm confusion. I'm <laughs> yeah, I feel like Var and Adrasso's both just kind of look over at Ari like, oh, it's yeah, it's okay. Like that's just <laughs> that's just what's going on now. <laughs> Some, somebody's a little moody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, Sasa, Prime, jeez, everyone's a little... What did I miss? Prime, Prime is going through some things, but don't worry. I gave him a little pep talk. He should be fine. <laughs> oh. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it went wonderfully. Oh, I, I think it went very well. Oh, that makes me very worried. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm sure it was fantastic. We should all get back to the boat and get going. Icaros is running circles around the bit, the boat at the moment. <laughs> oh, Best yeah. thing ever, Vara, you're amazing. Yeah, Vara's just Vara will have made her way back to um the helm and is just kind of smiling and and checking all the sails, making sure there wasn't any weird damage or changes from the day before. Adrastos <laughs> is also like adjusting ropes, making sure everything is ship you're shape. Ship shape. <laughs> we are on solid ground right now, right? In Bristol fashion. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> is that is that correct are we not on the ship right now like are we not on the, the uh, Every, uh, everybody was making their way from yeah. the land to it it's up to you where right. you're at um, while i'm on the leaves. land i am going to be on the land for the moment because i do remember saying that i ran on the water so i could run on yes. the land while i'm on the land i'm just going to take the opportunity oh great mogus <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
thank you for protecting me, you know, <laughs> and various other praises. And yeah. uh, Ariana will probably do something similar, knowing that she probably shouldn't be worshiping anybody else out in the water, as we've had some issues. Um, and we'll just sort of have a very silent moment um, with the um, the stone that uh, the Claire, the priest gave to me, uh, Cecius. Was. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just with uh, Calix's stone, I'm thinking on that for a little while. Okay. Um, yeah. Just have a quiet as, moment uh, while Prime does his thing. As, as Agrios is shouting that out and Prime's finished cleaning up, he's going to walk by Agrios and go, I'm pretty sure Mogus can't hear you. I do believe he would be put in silent time. That's what happened previously. And just keep walking towards the ship. It in what previously when did that happen when crufix was angry with the gods and was restoring balance and silenced them all so that none of the gods could speak or act i would presume that's where iros and mogus are at the moment have you heard anything from them they haven't spoken through you recently well why only them just for fighting with each other and destroying a city and wrecking the well, Colossus that was built by Perforos. Killing people, spreading fire. But none of those things sound that bad. No. Well, I guess it depends on your perspective. I would believe deserve a timeout for that, yes. Hmm. I can't Think imagine they would way, be cut off from hearing, though. Sorry, Ptolemaeus, go ahead. Think of it this way, Agrios. If, it, if mortal men had done any of those things, if all of those things, a little time out isn't the th punishment that they would receive. I suppose not. Hmm. Prime's going to stop and look up for a moment and it does make you wonder if the gods are supposed to be all powerful how are they being put into timeout is your god less powerful than Crufix monk Egrios hmm certainly not though hmm. I suppose being in the immortal myself I can't speculate too heavily on the hierarchy of the gods. Which always you... begs the question, if the gods are the guards of, of mortals, then who guards those guards? Are the gods? I'll just continue walking back onto the ship. Uh. This is very troubling. I'm glad we're on a similar page now, then. This has been troubling me for a while now. I must not allow it to shake my faith. But I will think on it. Because we still... I still have... I believe I still have the powers granted to me from... Eros. Hmm. Even though I felt myself drifting from him, he still provided me with those powers. So if he is in some kind of celestial timeout, he still has some kind of connection. I and you still have your powers from Mogus, despite. Yes, yes, I do. Even huh. when I could not directly praise him on the water, I still had access to the powers he granted to me. This is a question for bookish clerics and priests. I'm, it's too heady for me. Ah, I've never been into books. Yes. Mm. <laughs> you are not one. You are not a bookish cleric, Agrio. No, I prefer to learn through experience and personal revelations. I what have found that the best way to learn myself. And, and what some is wrong? psychedelic drugs in the what wilderness. What is wrong with books? They, there is nothing wrong with books. In books. There are. I 
have never they've never treated me well with crime. I've never seen a book mistreat anyone. Mm. Those are, there are those of us that thoughts don't work as well in the written word and reside more in our biceps than our brains. Mm. I simply prefer not to confine my mind to the words of others written in some leaf. When Ariata says that, Adrasto sneezes. <laughs> it's a self call out as well as a call out of other people. I, I, I suppose books may not have purpose to some people, and for others, it's a primary way of life. And that Maybe is why we. Us... Right. Maybe some of us are more suited to sitting around and doing books and nothing else. I wouldn't say that. I I think that there are many of us that find a good split between the two. Vara and Tikaros and Ptolemaeus both are thriving out here, from what I can see, as well as being bookish types. I I have nothing against people that prefer books to active learning. I've just never been good at them. And I think that's why we have societies and why we must all work together in different ways, because we all have different strengths. And your strength is clearly knowledge. I see. So I'm just smarter than you. Correct. Yes. Likely. Very well. Well, not in a, <laughs> not, not in a just smart, but not. <laughs> Put her off. <laughs> I grew up in a society with a strong oral tradition, and they pass down that information by talking about it as well. I knew you were going to go there. <sighs> <laughs> I saw that look in your eye as you started to speak, <laughs> and I just knew. <clears throat> They're just real bitey, that's all. It must be very difficult to pass down things through verbal tradition when your mouth is full. And he will continue walking towards the ship. <laughs> Prime just keeps stopping for zingers. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Ariana will head back to the ship if Prime has done his everything and is heading back. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to walk out to the ship. Head back. Once he's finished with his prayers. Tikra is still running around or? <laughs> oh, she's probably actually by this point, just lying back, like looking at the sky, like just lying <laughs> on the surface of the water, loving life. Oh, the dream. I love it. Right. Well, when everybody is back on board the ship and you're ready to set sail, let me know. I hate to interrupt anyone as they're enjoying their, their <laughs> floaty time. Let's go. If if you if you do float for another uh, forty five minutes, though, you're going to sink. But that's okay. <laughs> Just to let you know. Ah, walking on water, amazing. The next thing I want to do is use ladders. <laughs> oh, all the dreams if of you, horses. If you said that, if you said that on the ship, and or at least in here shot of of Ptolemaeus. Uh, I would just be like, I don't know about climbing up, but I could help you simulate climbing down a ladder if you ever want to try that. You're on. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let me make a note. Ptolemaeus just pulls out a board <laughs> of shoots and ladders. No, no, I'm just going to ch <laughs> chalk that one up to another creative use of Featherfall. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Captain Vara, Captain Vara, permission to start the day on rudder duties. That's and quite all right. You, were, you did a great job with it yesterday, so that'd be perfect. Thanks. Uh, requesting permission to stay above board today, as I feel I missed a lot. Sure. It'd be fine. Um, 
addressed just knows a good amount of the uh, rope work. You remember some of the knots. Um, that would be the main thing. Adjusting sails is needed. And uh, thus the student like. becomes the teacher. There we go. And if we need to row again, I feel like you're much better at it than I am. Fair. Speaking of which, uh, how's the wind looking? It's a little better than it was before, and uh, it is actually at your back, so you may be able to catch a little of it. Uh, also, the current is flowing. Uh, or stuff is, yeah, <laughs> flowing. <laughs> so it will actually pull you a little bit. You'll get a little bit of a current draw as well. So as you uh, take your boat out and get it back into the center line of the river and begin your float down the way, um, what is what are everyone doing? I know that uh, Tikaros is on rudder duty, Var is captaining. What is the plan for everyone else? Uh, Ariana is probably, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say, uh, Ariana is probably just following Adrastos and getting directions on how to help with the rigging and whatnot. Adrastos is very in his element of like, and this is where this still is. He did just educating. Ariana is very can. proud. <laughs> Don't patronize me. It's, she's not genuinely <laughs> proud. God, I don't know about you, but if you've ever been a teacher and you've taught somebody something and then they turn around and like are able to teach you back something else, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, no, so that's what's happening. Fantastic. Uh, I will do whatever task is left, I guess. Probably just at the helm or something like that if the, if if need be I'm just kind of looking out seeing seeing where we're going i guess all right so you're kind of the lookout all right so in that case uh, as you are the lookout please give me a perception check and by the way uh bubo is still hanging out on top of the the mast awesome keeping an eye out as well so That is a 23 All right. perception. As you look out and examine the area around you, uh, the water is nice and clear. Um, definitely seems to be flowing in the proper direction, and uh, the wind is strong. But there is nothing particular that you see that is of concern. Uh, there are a few fish that uh, make their way by as you're going through some fairly good sized ones uh so it is possible uh you could probably fish somewhere along the the route if you needed to uh yeah i will relay whatever i see over to vara cool yeah vara is just keeping a very contented steady course um, probably the same distance from the shore as yesterday. Very good. I am trying to do something on the map, and uh, roll 20 is, as usual, not cooperating. So bear with me a moment while I try to make roll 20. There we go. Thank you, roll 20. <laughs> as the uh, boat progresses for a while, uh, Ptolemaeus, you notice up ahead, you appear to be approaching some rapids. Uh, Captain, I don't think water's supposed to, the water's supposed to move that fast here. Is it? Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and kind of step forward. If, uh, Adrasus is around, I'll ask to uh, borrow the telescope back. And he will give it back. Cool. 
I'm going to look at the rapids. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a normal fixture or is that strange? It's they don't seem to be unnatural rapids, but they are going to be something that may be a little bit rougher to uh, make your way through. OK. Hmm. Um, no, those are just. You know, we're, we're at points where different bodies of water kind of go through bottlenecking points and, and things like that. It's, it's a natural, it doesn't look nefarious or God made. This seems to be just a, a regular structure, but, um, well, not structure, water, but you know what I mean. Um, no, I think, um, we'll just want, we'll just want everyone at the oars steady, make sure we're prepared. All right. Sounds good. This is going to be fun. Yes, rudder is going to be one of the main components. So everyone look alive. Okay. Um, what I'm going to need is for Vara as the captain of this ship. Uh, we're going to do this as a survival type of a role, your survival on the sea. Sick. And uh, I would say good your crew, that. you have a crew that is is fairly in good shape and attentive. So we're going to do it with advantage this time. So let's do a check there. Sick. Ink. All right, bad roll out of the way. Wow, same roll. Incredible. <gasps> um, twelve. No. Oh. Oh. Well, that that's not horrible though. Thank heavens. That's that's not. A no, I, well, I have a, I have a plus six. So <laughs> it was a six. <laughs> okay, well that would be pretty horrible then. Yeah. All right. So um, as you come into this, uh, you're going down the rapids and the ship suddenly starts to turn and yaw on you sideways. Uh, but a little bit of effort, you're able to uh, bring it back. You're able to trim sails, push hard on the rudder and bring it back into line and coast your way down into the, uh, the smoother part of the river. Perfect. But about this time, you begin to hear some noises. They're a little faint at this point uh, from distance, but they seem a lot like people yelling. Just mm -hmm. various voices yelling. Cool. Good work, everyone. Um, Put it that. Fairly nicely, and uh, Vara will start looking through the telescope and seem not worried, um, just at a glance. But uh, if I can go ahead and try to spot where the voices are coming from, does it seem like they're on land? Is it another ship? Uh, give me a uh, perception check, and let's see how far you can see with your telescope and what it brings to perfect sight. perception. Also, supposedly something I'm good at. Also rolled not great. Fourteen. That's going to be good enough. I mean, that's, that's well above the average. And you see up ahead of you where the river turns and it has kind of made a small pool, uh, a lagoon almost area. Uh, so a, a deeper pool. And you see a ship that has apparently uh, run up on the shore and it appears to be broken up a bit. Hmm. Um, do they have any kind of flag markings like we saw on the other one? Uh, with the 14 at this distance, I don't think you're going to be able to make that out. Cool. Okay. Um, all right. And she'll go ahead and put the telescope away. Um, there is a ship, uh, up ahead who has run into rocky waters. So two things. Be wary of the ship. We may need to stop and help them. Uh, but the second thing is we don't want to be torn up by whatever tore them up. So um, I would probably say let's increase our distance from the shore a bit just to avoid any any unexpected rocks. By that, are you centering yourself or are you going left or right? Which shore and are you meaning just center of the river? So I can make sure I understand. I'm probably probably centered. Try to try to find okay. the deepest point in the river so that way if there are jagged rocks, if if it's on one shore, it'd probably be on the other. So um yeah, okay. I'd I'd center with the river. Okay. 
Uh, how fast are you going to proceed? Um, Just basically full speed, half speed, slow speed. If there's the possibility of rocks, and especially if we may stop, probably half speed. Okay. All right. As you get a little closer, the yelling that had been going on, it slows down and stops. But then every once in a while, you still hear something scream out, and it's there, it's like a horrific scream. And it's mm. kind of hard to tell where it's coming from, from the area that you're in. That's that separate from them? normal. Oh. Mm. Yes, be wary. We've already met, well, we've met our fair share of good and bad so far. Hard to say which one this will land in. question yes um i'm looking at the map seeing the other ship there uh is there a direct is there a specific direction where the screams are coming from or is it like both like around it it's a little hard to tell because you have this outcropping of rock around there so that is actually a raised area so it's kind of echoey a little bit so it sounds like it may be primarily coming from the direction of the ship, but then every once in a while it'll sound like it's off to your left or maybe off to your right. The scream, the cacophony probably comes towards from that ship area. Hopefully it's because the terrain is making the sound travel, but I suppose it, it wouldn't be too far off that to see that something might be on the other shore as well. Should should we establish someone to watch, keep a lookout on either sides? Mm. Yes, I think that'd be smart. Um, since it's screaming based and there may be some kind of enemy, um, Agrios, would you be willing to keep an eye and Actually, I may have just the solution to this. Okay. How far away is this uh, point that we're wanting someone to scout from? Uh, actually, you can measure on the map. I think it'll be accurate for you if you want to do that. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, yeah, it's not very far at all. Um, that's well within my range. Uh, well, it only lasts up to 10 minutes, though. Uh, I'm considering casting Clairvoyance, for anyone wondering. Mm -hmm. I just picked it up. Um, yeah, I'm going to cast Clairvoyance over there. Over, mm -hmm. uh, you said it seems to be from the opposite shore, right? Uh, as far as you can tell, yes. If somebody would like to do a check and see if you can narrow it in, you're welcome to do a perception and see. I would like to do a perception for that, then. Let me, let me double check on that. All right. Better than the first roll. Uh, 24. Uh, definitely you get the impression that most of the noise is coming from the direction of the shipwreck. In fact... One cry comes out while you're you're trying to focus on this and focus your attention, and you're pretty sure you heard something akin to oh my God, no yep uh, i'm gonna I'm gonna cast clairvoyance over that away toward the shipwreck yeah as as I point over at that side, and like I'll have my eyes closed just to kind of focus in and hone in on it. How long have we been on the water? Not very long, right? I'm going to say probably an hour or two because we're just okay. kind of compressing time as you go. So so no more uh, water walking. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Could You've I gone a pretty good take... distance. So. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Could I take this moment to quietly cast Mage Armor on myself? Absolutely. Having heard that scream, I'm starting to go on the defensive. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would say the shipwreck qualifies as an obvious location that's unfamiliar to me, right? Uh, yes. I think All right, so that, that, that should still 
work for, for the spell. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yep. And what which sense are you using? I'm using probably hearing to begin with, just to okay. make sure, just confirm. Okay. Uh, uh, no, actually, we can hear them plenty fine. We, uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll do sight. I'll okay. Do sight. And show yeah. me where you're. Show me where you're focusing your sight in this area. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. So, take a look over here. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. All right. So. Where where exactly is the shipwreck on this map here? Let me upper right hand. That I know where I'm looking. It's right ahead so of us. It's right ahead of us. I can ping where the ship is if you need. Yes, there it is. Yep. Should we position our tokens on the ship? We probably should. If you do, uh, I would position them on. Well, go ahead and do it on the small ship. That's fine. But the small ship, okay. It's just, it's going to swamp it because it is a small ship. <laughs> That's why I made the bigger one if we did anything around it, but we'll get to that later. Just drag this boy out here. I'm just going to the back to the rudders. Like I'm hanging sure. in the water, but I'm not really in the water. <laughs> I'm going to put just it to be yeah, clear. <laughs> I'm going to put it right on top of the wreck if I can. Okay. It's like right on there. Okay. Um, section as, of the ship. Okay. You are going to see uh, very clearly where this ship has been damaged. Um, well, you know what? Give me a perception check. Let's see how what you pick up from what you I'll see. Do it. Uh, that is. It's only an 11, unfortunately. The ship has definitely been damaged. It looks like. Whoever was captaining this did not do a very good job because the damage is is there's there's cracks and breaks and scratches. They they it's almost like this thing was dragged along the side of something, and uh, broken up. Um, there is a uh, fairly uh, large amount of blood staining the decks. Hmm. Hmm. All right. It says as an action I can switch between seeing and hearing. I'd like to switch to hearing and see if I can figure out uh, more precisely where the screaming is coming from. Uh, that's going to take another roll then. All right. Roll for hearing. It's even worse. It's a 10. <laughs> I'm going to change. I'm going to switch dice. You hear some giggling. Almost uh it's it's almost a, a small small voices giggling is is what comes to mind. And then suddenly you'll hear a ah! and then a little bit more <laughs> kind of giggle. Mm. I see. Um Okay, hold on. Yeah, so so Agrios is going to tell everyone else. I hear giggling, like small voices, mischievous. Hmm. Does it seem like anyone is still alive that was with the original ship? Hmm. All I saw was the damage to the wreck itself and blood. A lot of blood. Hmm. Well, even if no one survived these creatures, I guess you could say, we could interrogate and might bring light if there's other issues going on in the area before we start traveling by foot again. I, I think it's worth stopping if, if the crew agrees. There's people there we can help. We should. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Just um, a word of caution, though. This wouldn't be the first time that we've come across something that wants to deceive us. Indeed. Yeah. 
Even and look how that went for them. Even if there is no deception, it's certainly a trap. Yeah. Yes, we'll we'll approach on the offensive. Um, I would like to bring the boat up to where, uh, ideally about right here to where we still have those rocks, um, kind of mm -hmm. separating us that we could potentially use as cover as we get closer. Um, so kind of bring it up right about here. You'll have to move your own tokens. I'm not grabbing everybody. Perfect. All right. Uh, Agrios, I assume you are still listening. You have not canceled your spell is that correct you're still listening for as long okay. as the 10 minutes are going on uh once you pass this break of trees over here and you are moving fairly slowly but it, it doesn't take that long to get that far in you hear suddenly the giggling stops and you hear shh, shh, shh. they know we approach and then they are hear, readying oh, something oh help me Help, please. Mm. We can get sight on them, on the actual people, creatures, whatever they are. I might be able to better tell what they are. Do any of you have the destructive force to simply blast the shipwreck from here? Oh, help, help, please help me. Boats of lightning, balls of fire, anything like that. I have moonbeam, uh, which has a range of 120 feet. And I also have, yeah, moonbeam, moonbeam would be my main far away spell that I could cast to injure. Or wall of water is within range. I could just dump a bunch of water on them. <laughs> That's a third yeah. level, though, so that would take away from potential water walk if needed in the future. Oh, help, help, please help me. How fresh oh. was the blood that you saw? Good Does question. it seem like they were the ones that like caused this, or are they just posing in like Tam a multiple day old shipwreck tam tam how old did the blood seem to my 11 perception uh to your 11 perception it was blood and it was wet and there was water so it's hard to tell fair enough that's about what i figured well can we see anything at this point that help cry can anybody oh, you see know what? good point He's, he'll, Agrios will switch back to sight as Tikaros hint hints. <laughs> <laughs> and if, again, every few minutes, this cry is repeating, help, please help me. It's the same cry over and over. In fact, it's the same cry over and over, as far as you can tell. Do I see but anything new from looking around from my vantage point? From where you're looking, you don't see anything particular. It's just the boat. Let's see, what's your uh, your sphere of uh, being able to see around that? Is your normal vision? Uh, probably my normal vision. Let me take a look. Um, can you use the chosen... You can use the chosen sense through the sensor as if you were in its space. Okay, cool. In that case, um, give me a uh, perception check. Uh-huh. New die. Be better than the old die. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, new die. That's a dirty 20. All right. Um, it takes a few moments as you're watching. The, the waves are lapping, and then you realize that sometimes when you're seeing the water move, it's not the tidal pool lapping on the ship, there's something moving. Maybe more than one something that's disturbing the water. Um, it's in and around the boat area, but not, well, it's got to be under the water. There's no place else it could be. It has to be under the water. There. They're under the water. Something is. 
Can I go look? Um, as that's happening, I, I want to just be like, I want to make sure and see whether or not there are actually people that, that needs to be helped. And can I target that sound? That, that, that sound that sounds repeated. The help, help me. Okay. And use dispel magic on it. Okay. It's, it's 100 feet away. What's your range? 120. I think you're well within range then. I'll just focus on that, that repeating line and okay. hoping that it is some sort of magical thing. I'll use dispel magic. All right. Uh, you cast it, and you have to wait a minute for the cry again, um, but it does come again. Uh, Tam. Yes. If I have, I'm assuming I got my telescope back, or Vara's telescope back from Vara. Um, the telescope. I would like to take a look at the wreck. Okay. as well see if i can spot anything yeah i would right. i would hap happily hand that back to you and um in response to ariana uh if she wants to approach vara would go with her because if it's something in the water she can she can shark <laughs> okay yeah so i'd like to look are, and see if i can see anything in the how water are you planning to approach what what are you planning to do here because you said you were going to walk over there sorry i was going to walk to the edge of the ship Okay. Because I thought it sound, it was like, and try to like look down into the water a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, if you go on the north side, of course, uh, that's going yeah. to be the shore side. So you're not going to see a lot. Yes. It's going to be a little bit shallower. On the other side, it's a bit deeper. Uh, okay. So everybody who's looking to observe something, give me a perception check. 13. Um, I think that is also a 13, or at least okay. about that. All right. Uh, oh no, as it's you... a fifteen. Wow. Oh wow, that's even better. Even better. You notice both of you in your two different areas that you're looking, you notice some movement. It's kind of blends in with the you know, the depths of the waters of what's going on here. But there's definitely something with a bit more of a greenish yellow tint. And you're sure you saw a flash of red, some kind of fish or something. Can I, I would like to use my divine sense. Now it marks things that do not have total cover. So I don't know if the water counts as them having total cover. Uh, since it's clear water, no, it does not. Okay. Um, so it's within 60 feet. Okay. Um, so if it's close enough for that, um, I would know if the area has been affected by the hallow spell or if the creature is a celestial fiend or undead. Okay. So um, I'm kind of focusing in on the, the flashes of color to try and sense. Uh, you do not get a hit on any of those. Interesting. I will uh, tell the party what I saw, the hint of red, the colors. Mm. Um, I think it's... Ariana, was there, a, was there a verbal component to you casting that spell? Uh, divine Sense? Mm -hmm. Was there anything uh, verbal no. to it? Oh, okay. I just couldn't remember if you so. had a verbal to it or not, so... Probably no, because it's okay. just it's yeah, it's not even it's not a spell, it's just an ability. Some, that you some people click. do prayers and stuff. I just wanted to know if you said For sure. Anything. She probably just closes her eyes and opens them again. Yeah. yeah. All right. Adrastos, you were saying. I'm just telling the party what I saw, and I'm asking Bar if she's seen anything like that before. Um well, red is a fairly common coloration in, in certain fish, things like that. Um, unfortunately, based on what we saw previously, um, scorpion-like tails and whatnot, we have no idea, but um, I I worry we, we spend too much time and go through spells and whatnot and don't actually have enough prepared to 
fight if we need to fight. So I'd say we just approach at this point. For those right. who are willing to approach, if, if one or two want to stay back with the ship um, in case we need to make a, a getaway, perhaps that's um, something we could do. We do have weapons on the ship as well, so if it becomes very serious, someone could man those. I could stay back for that, yeah. I was I was going to say, if if we're all moving into our positions of expertise, mine is definitely battle tactics. We should keep those that can attack at range back here. Those of us who are more of the frontline fighters should go with you. All right. Well then, I'm staying with you, Tolly. Sounds Perfect. Good. Yes, I, I think one of you maybe be ready to man the weapons and the other be ready to... Um... Uh, lower the sails and the rudder work. <laughs> Quickly get us out of here. I can always the the group that comes with me. We can water walk back if necessary. So don't worry about staying close to the shore. Adrastus will have an immediate mood change because he finally found a problem he can punch. He will, <laughs> he will take off his shield, draw his sword, and just. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Ariana will do the same. Hey, Prime, Prime is... you should stay with us. We are the most important team back here. Prime it's true. You're to... very important. Prime is going to walk over to Agrios and go, what can I do to assist you? Can Prime do to assist me? Uh... The only thing I've seen Prime do in combat was jump with a javelin and completely <laughs> fail to hit anything. <laughs> He's hard. learning. He can, He's he can training, kill rats now. Yeah. However, however, far be it from me to dampen someone fight, someone's fighting spirit. Did I ever get that javelin back? Uh, he used it to kill rats, so he's probably still got it unless you want it. Mm. No, I don't want it back. I'm going to pat him on the shoulder and say, that javelin I gave you, you still have it, correct? And he'll hold it up, of course. Let us try again. Strike, Prime, strike true. What? The, the things in there. Yes, whatever we come across that needs to be struck. <laughs> um... Precisely. <laughs> It would be actually quite beneficial to have you if it is an underwater threat. We'll be close enough to shore where you sinking down to the uh, to the depths may give you a good advantage on fighting that the others won't have. Should work out well. You know what? Let's see. Yep. If I can, I'm going to cast a magic weapon on that javelin. Oh. Just for prime. Nice. It now has a plus one bonus to attack and damage and counts as a magic weapon for the next hour. Oh, wow. Very good. We're developing too close of a connection to this NPC. <laughs> Pam's going to turn him on us at some point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> when have I ever <laughs> done that? Ever. <laughs> I mean, you've been in games with me. I've never done... Anyway. Off the, uh, the side of the boat a little ways out, a little closer to the wreck, you begin to see some bubbles begin to appear on the top of the water. So this would be coming from the area that would be the deepest part of the lagoon. So I'm pinging where it's centered at. And those bubbles kind of come up, and then they start slowly moving in your direction. Prepare ourselves. All righty. Quick question. Shield. Prime, I have a I have a quick question. Yes. Did Nyctos ever set any emergency directives for you? Anything that you would follow if there was an emergency? Not specifically. I mean he told me not to stand in the street when a chariot was coming by. Um so nothing, nothing combat related. He didn't expect you to be in danger. Uh, no, uh, I, I would say that any training for fighting has been something that has been remiss for me. Until, of course, recently. But all right, well, stay with us. 
listen to Ag Agrios throw the uh, and throw the javelin and whatnot. Just be careful. I wouldn't want you hurt. I appreciate that. Be careful yourself. I would not like for you to be killed or hurt. Wouldn't be the first time. And uh, I will go up to the uh, to the the large ballista looking thing and uh, figure out how to use it. All right. I think this would be an, a very opportune time to say uh, roll initiative. And let's figure and out where it <laughs> So if you're going to use the uh, roll 20 to do that, be sure to click on your token first. Hey, there we go. They all just popped up. It works. Oh, uh, this was from last time again. Oh, uh, yeah. I cleared it. I cleared it. Dad gum it. Just <laughs> mine <moment>. is correct. <laughs> Mine is also correct. Oh How my is God, it I picking up from previous? I do not understand this. So, well, my thirteen is yeah. So it looks like if it's just the name, it's incorrect. But if it's the token, it's the ah, so new one. that's yeah, interesting because yeah, the... I did a clear last time. Okay, everybody, make sure yours is there, and if not, let me know and I will fix it. Yeah, mine because is because roll yep. twenty, roll twenty. I hate you. So that's, I think that's just... Krista said nineteen in the chat for Ariana. Okay. I will add that. Uh, mine is 16. Mine's right. right. Cool. What was that? What was yours, Tali? I'm sorry. 16? Uh, 16, said... yes. Excellent. Oh, wow. All right. Let me see if I can get these to actually go in descending order. Excellent. Something actually went well. Uh, the bubbles have moved a little bit closer uh, during the time we were getting ready. Ariana, uh, you are up first. And whatever it is, is right about, come on in, Ping, right about here. Did that ping? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Because I was looking for it and I didn't see it. And I'm like, wait a minute, what is going on with my pinger? I'm not pinging well. I'll say they got pills for that, Sam. <laughs> I was <laughs> waiting for that. <laughs> I was truly waiting for that. All right, so Ariana, you're up first. I don't know if I said that out loud or not. I hope so. I'm sorry. I've been talking and my mic was off. Apologies. <laughs> um, good gracious. I know that feeling, know that yeah. feeling quite well. Uh, um, how the, the scale of this is about 20 foot squares, right? Uh, it's large, yes. Okay, so it's, so it's right about 40 it's... feet off the boat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Um, Oh, you know what? I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. I always forget I have that spell because I don't cast things as this character. Um, cool. So I make a range of spell attack. I'm assuming it has like partial cover. Or uh, it's, it's in the water. You can't clearly see it at the moment because of the depth it's at. So yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to, I'm going to say, yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay. As partial cover. So that's a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, at 12. Um, that, I'm afraid, does not hit. Cool. So there'll be a bit of a... Yeah, the water. water. And in return, as the water's disrupted, um, a large burst of bubbles come up from the depth. So you you may not have hit it and wounded, but you definitely got its attention. Right. There. And she'll point to where about where she saw the bubbles to make sure everyone else saw it. Okay. Um. 
da, da, da. Um, I will. Seeing where the bubbles are. Is it an angle in which I could move the ballista uh, at all, or, sh or it might be a little bit? It might be a little bit low because it's not designed to shoot down into the water specifically. It's more a ship to ship thing. Sounds so good. So that's the case. Up, so, uh, um, I will, I will. Uh, oh my god. Um. I'll use my short bow then. I'm just gonna try to shoot some something on my short bow with at the bubbles. At where the bubbles are. Uh that is a fifteen. Uh that is a miss. Got it. Cool, cool. Uh if that is the case, I will continue to be at the side of the ship kind of staring down at it. Mm -hmm. And that's will be my turn. All right. Cool. Um I'm going to just move closer. Where you pinged was where it was, correct? Just I can confirming. ping again if you'd like. It was right it was about right here if I remember correctly. Yep. You're close. Cool. Yep. Um I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the shore initially. So I'll kind of walk over between these rocks. So I still have some cover from this um, and see if it seems like a good time to jump in and attack this thing as shark form. Okay. Does it seem, I'm trying to figure out the best way to ascertain. Um, Based on the bubbles and its like location, now that I'm closer, like can I see like a clear shadow of how large this thing is? Based on the bubbles, you can tell it's got to be quite large. Um, yeah, but you know what? Give me a perception check because the the reef shark's about eight feet, so I guess large in comparison to a reef shark. Um, so it's... perception. It's going to be somewhere. Well, go ahead, and give me the perception. <laughs> Twenty-five. Um, absolutely. Uh, you make a judgment based on the the dark blob that you can see moving down there. Uh, this thing is going to be very similar in size to your reef shark. Uh, possibly a little larger. I can do it. <laughs> cool. Well. Var is not good because it hasn't done anything to show that it's aggressive yet, right? It's not like attacking anything actively. It's just kind of there. Uh, so far, all you've seen is bubbles moving your direction. Towards me, yeah, yeah. So I'd rather, I'd rather meet it in the water than chance it coming up on land. Um, so I'll just go ahead. I'll probably move over one more and I'm kind of in this little rocky hub here and I will okay. turn into, I will go shark mode. Okay. Uh, so and you so have, you, you've used 25 feet of your movement to get there. Yes. Okay. Is this, I mean, is this too shallow for shark? Uh, you'd have to go out a little bit. I'll, I mean, I'd give you a good five feet out from the, there, but then it's going to drop off quickly because this is like a lagoon area. Okay, then yeah, I'll go ahead and use that final five and go here. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'll go ahead and and go I've shark. Got to come up with a, I've got to come up with a reef shark uh, icon for you. Remind me to do that. Yeah, no, I'll do so that. I'll look that for token, something. So. Um, and then um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to be as stealthy as a person turning into an eight-foot shark can be um, ideally just kind of slipping into the water, slinking. I don't want to pose immediately as a threat. I, if, if there, if possible, if I could play it off, like I'm just another, I'm just another animal in the water that just happens to be like, you know, I'm shark sniffing not, for blood. If you're sure. not splashing your way in, if you're just going in and changing to a shark, uh, roll me a stealth. Let's see how smoothly okay. you do this. Stealth would be based on okay. 
we'll do shark decks. Did that roll? Yes, 17. Just Absolutely. a straight dexterity. You just, you just slide smoothly into the water. Perfect. And cool, yeah. And I'm going to kind of just like feign awareness and, and seem like I'm just a shark that's sought out the blood more so than trying to aggress the other creature. Okay. Uh, once you get down into the water a little ways, the creature continues to come up and you see a probably the largest... I guess the best description would be lobster that you have oh, ever seen. Heck this yeah. Thing, it is it is enormous. We're gonna and eat it is so making well. its way up. But what you notice behind it are two creatures. Um they're almost they look almost like a fish with arms and a lizard's face, for lack of a better description. They're yellowish and they have a red flash on their hands, their arms, and their tail. So that's the red flash that was being seen. And they are behind okay. this thing, and they're apparently goading it towards the ship. Oh, interesting. Are they giggling? <laughs> uh, not underwater, but... <laughs> sure. Sure. Bubble giggle. <laughs> but the creature is going to uh, surface at this point. As it's been making its way up towards the top. And it is going to surface right here. Come on, it's not letting me select anything. Just oh, a minute. Large. <laughs> Come on, roll. Come on, roll. Good minutes. token. There we go. Yeah, it's it's sized yeah. properly. It's I okay. love him. He's so big. I love oh, this should be our pet. <laughs> and so he is now within, say, 20 feet of the uh, boat. Oh, no. And, uh, oh, no. Where is, is the positioning of the tokens pretty appropriate to where everyone is, boat wise? Um, yeah, I'm thinking Ariana is probably right at the front with the Drastos. Um, is Agrios closer to the front with us? Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. I'll, I'll move up there, scooch up a little bit. Yeah, I'll assume also... we're all kind of at the point. I mean, the ballista's also in the front, so I'll say I'll be right here, too. So. All right. So I am going to need Adrastos and Ariana to please make a strength saving throw. Oh, how good. It's the one I'm good at. Oh, that's not a great roll. No. Uh, 18 for Adrastos. <clears throat> that's a 10 okay. for Ariana. All right. Adrastos and Ariana, you begin to feel as though something is, is pulling your metal objects toward the water. Adrastos, you are able to maintain a grip on yours, but Ariana, um, it, what weapon do you have in your hand? A short sword and a shield. Your short sword and your shield fly from your hands and fly over and adhere to the shell of this creature. Hmm. Um, she has a a, a javelin and a spear on her back. Would those both, like, the heads of them be enough to draw them off? Uh, I'm going to give credit that maybe they're secured and not, but the two okay. things that were handheld definitely have been pulled okay. away. Well, the, 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 there, there's a pull? It, it is pulled. Okay. And you are gotcha. unable to maintain your grip on them. Bugger. And with that, the creature is just going to continue to get a little bit closer. It's still too far to actually attack the ship, but uh, it's pinching its claws like it has every intention of going after the ship and everything on it. 
Meanwhile, while this is happening, you suddenly begin to hear this giggling coming from all around you. Well, from the seaward side all around you. And these little heads of these creatures pop up from the water. The little fish face creatures. As they're watching the spectacle and uh, anxiously looking to see what's going to happen as this creature uh, tears into your ship. And I will make them visible here as soon as Roll20 decides to let me select the icons. Because <laughs> it is being a little bit difficult. There we go. It's being a butt. Yep. All right. Good roll, 20. Good boy. Sit, stay. And uh, <laughs> with that, I believe, uh, Tikaros, you are up. Oh, this is terrible. The captain's not on the ship. Adrastos, you're like second captain, right? I call out. Yeah, I suppose I'd be the first mate. Shall I try and get the boat out of here? We've got to save the boat and get out of here, right? Um, Give me a moment to jump off. I'm going to engage this creature. And then, yes, move the boat further away. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to rudder it up. And I'm going to try and turn the rudder so that the boat can find its way out through a gap like I'm pinging like between these creatures I'm going to turn it so it can face in that direction and try and escape all right um and you're using wind power to do this uh, as no one's rowing I assume is is if prime's in front of me I'm going to try and yell at him and say prime we've got to escape it's up to us jump on the rowing and see what happens all right uh, Prime will definitely pick up one of the oars. Uh, realizing what you're trying to do, he is going to go to the left-hand side, and I'm using the left instead of port and starboard, so nobody's confused. If you want me to use nautical terms, I will, but I'm going with nope. the easy route <laughs> of left. So anybody on the chat, anybody who's watching, I know the difference. I'm just being friendly, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> Anyway, he's going to grab that oar, and he is going to put his muscle into it while you're doing this with the rudder. Uh, so I am going to uh, give you advantage on this with the movement. And let's cool. do this as, for you, let's do this as an acrobatics, because I think that's something that's a, a skill set for Tikaros, right? Yeah, and she would so totally do, be uh, acrobating it. Let's do All right. acrobatics let's go. with advantage. Natural 19 on one of them. <laughs> nice. 22. Pull up. 22. Excellent. You are able to get the boat turned. And with some rowing power, you're able to get it to move a little bit. Uh, it is a single person rowing. So its movement is not going to be obviously as much as you know it normally would be out on the water with everybody doing it. So I'm going to give you half of its normal movement, which is 10 feet. Okay, so better than nothing. Good work, Prime. And I'm gonna put you out, say about like that. Yeah. So where everybody's at on the boat. Wonderful. Okay. And Agrios. And so does this this creature just has metal sticking all over its shell, right? Uh Do right now it just has the two items. It has the short oh, okay. sword and the shield. Okay. Because I was going to say, man, does nobody in this party know heat metal? I was about That's to say, one. heat it up, roast that <laughs> lobster. I don't think I do, unfortunately. I don't think I can get that one. But uh, can I do? Um, There's a lot of conventional wizard things that we really want in, in this situation, and none of us are wizards. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no wizards. So, uh, hey, I'm about to cast my strongest spell. Punch? Fist. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shark! Uh, you, you, can, you can preemptively assist us in Operation Porcupine that we are, that there apparently is, a lot of us have been considering. There is some, there, there is some damage I can do. There is some support I can give. Uh, hold on, let's see. 
Mm-hmm. They don't have they're, cast garlic butter. <laughs> <laughs> Summon garlic butter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's still lemon. Uh, I have run a uh, crab truckers game where they did have a uh, garlic butter weapon. So. Yes. Oh no. It has been done. You just I'm cast Hero's it. Feast on the lobster and cook it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are the Hero's Feast. Uh, the question is if I want to keep up uh, Prime's magic weapon so that he can do things. I feel like I want to do that, right? I want to let him, I want to let him have that for just a minute. So I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to cast guiding bolt on this big boy right here uh just for mm-hmm. this turn that's what i'm gonna do it's gonna be only a second level i'm gonna save the third level spell slots okay second level guiding bolt still a lot of damage it's fine <laughs> it's 5d6 <laughs> when it when it when it hits or it would be if i didn't roll a nat one. Oh no <laughs> But oh, I had, so good. New die, you were the chosen one. <laughs> you were supposed to save my rolls, not plunge them into darkness. <laughs> I hate you. Would you like? Would you like to borrow the prison? Uh, so what is that? It what sounds is that like for, he wants the dice lava pit instead. What does that yeah. mean for me? That that fails no matter what, right? There's no saving that, that, that one. Is, that is, yeah, that's a fail. It's gone. All right. I mean, yeah, I, I'm like, even oh, wait, if I wait. tried to add things to it after the fact. You do. But... We have you an inspiration. Do. You have an inspiration <gasps> die. We do. Yep. It was From the chat. <laughs> yep, I'm using it. I'm using it. Do it. We've, do it. We've do it. Two, do it. Don't we? I forgot we all about that. You have a, a D20 yeah. and D6. Yeah. Yep. Forgot all about that. <laughs> no, fuck you. Did you roll another one? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Was meant to be. Fuck my life. Oh. <laughs> wah, wah, Sorry, wah, I'm just. Wah. I'm just wah. That one failures. I usually like to do something with, but I can't really do that with a spell. With the thrown weapon, I can, but it just wouldn't be right. So I just ping, uh, ping it off Ariana's shield and hit him with it. <laughs> like here's the thing like i could get that up to an 18 technically but i feel like if it's a nat one then you're not gonna let it succeed at all right yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah not not on an attack roll. especially on two goes. nat ones yeah. yeah that's a double nat one that's just that's just so, mean so yes. any uh any movement that you're going to do with this <laughs> uh yeah i just throw myself into the sea goodbye world um, <laughs> I'm going to stay where I am. I'm okay. I'm just uh, going to I'm just going to play it off like I meant for that to happen. Prime is going Prime who's uh <clears throat> still at the oar is going to look up at you and say, "Are you sure Mogus is still on your side and available?" Oof. This sassy man oh, needs to chill. <laughs> oh, sassy. He's he's going through his his like Robot pu- like puberty right now. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. Is he's in he's, his feels. He's in his feelings. Uh, he, he doesn't know what his role is. Well, Agri- Agrios, <laughs> Agrios is, gonna, is not one. Agrios is going to shout back, You'd better hope so. He blessed that javelin, your whole thing. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, he had to set the javelin, javelin down because he's rowing. Oh, yeah. so, oh, I've so he is going to ask. That. He is going to ask, does row or fight? Agrios responds without hesitation. Fight! I was about to say, <laughs> not even a question. It's, it's a chorus because Adrastos also says fight <laughs> in his role <laughs> as acting officer on the ship. <laughs> well, The captain that, is in, currently a shark. In, in that case, Prime <laughs> is going to pick up the javelin, and he was told to throw this javelin. So he is going to so throw you. the javelin. Do it, Prime. Nat twenty. <clears throat> he is going to throw the javelin, and I'm afraid a nine's not going to do very good for him. He is going to throw the javelin, and it is going to actually hit Ariana's shield. 
and the two of them are going to just slide down into the water. Amazing. Pretty good aim at the wrong target. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Addressed us. How close is the lobster to the ship? Uh, since the ship has moved and turned, it actually kind of moved a little close. I'm going to give you 10 feet. Cool. All right. Um, so Adrastus gets a crazed look in his eye, <laughs> and he's going to turn to Tikros and say, you know what to do, and then he's going to look back to the lobster and just start beating the, his sword on his shield, say, all right, beastie, you want it so bad? Flips his sword around. I'll give it to you. Jump off, and just that's going to be his faint attack. He's going to use the magnetism to draw the sword into this lobster. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, to be clear, the magnetism isn't constant, but I will say it's still there until it gets back around to his okay. round. So. That, it, it's just flavor for me using yeah. fainting. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So, uh, here we go! <laughs> uh, woo -hoo -hoo. I like that. How about a 25? Yay. That is a hit. Woo. Okay. So, uh, because it's a fainting attack, I get to add my superiority die to that. So that is... You should have buttered your sword. It would have just... You know. I should have. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Uh, that is 15 damage. All right. And the things you say in D&D &D just don't make sense out of context. All right, and because I am now on <laughs> this thing's back with my sword in its shell... I'm just like going to peel it with my second attack. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. All right. Uh, 18. Little nutcracker. That's a hit. Awesome. Do not get to add superiority die this time. Sad tales. Um, for eight damage. All right. Um, so that was my movement and my bonus action. Do I want to do anything else? Uh now nah, I'll just rodeo this ro this lobster for a while. I'm good. <laughs> nice. All right. All right. Ariana. Um, how far away are the ballista bolts from me? Um, I'm at the very front of the ship. There would be right next to you, and Ptolemaeus Tolem is right there at the ballista. So, uh, if there's I presume one has been like loaded, but there's others like next to it. Yeah, Ptolemaeus was loading one, so I will say that there okay. has been loaded. And these are like I'm trying to imagine size wise. They're like mini logs. Yeah, they're they're pretty good size diameter. Okay. Um She's going to scoop one up and say, you can't have all the fun of Drastos and do exactly the same thing and just drive this ballista bolt straight down into it. All right. I love it. So uh, well, what's my bonus with a uh, ballista bolt in melee? <laughs> uh, treat it treat it like a spear. Okay. Fantastic. Is it easy? If I have the right screen available. There we go. Spear plus five. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 19. That is definitely a hit. Uh, we're going to treat this as a spear. Um, something you would, I, I assume you have proficiency with spears. I believe you do, yes. if I remember correctly. Okay, so just uh, treat this as a, a spear. I'm going to give you a, a, an advantage on some, uh, some damage there. Uh, so sure. let's add a plus one to your damage on that because this is like an arrow and very sharp. Yeah. Now, spears are versatile, so if I'm two-handing this, it's a d8 damage. Does that make yep. sense? That, that okay. works so wonderfully for me. Plus one. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, that is a seven, eight, nine, and then one from you is ten, so that'll be ten damage. Nice. Uh, oh, and I would like to uh, can I thunder smite it? <laughs> yes, of course. Just for funsies. Um, cool. So that's going to be uh, six thunder damage. 
and right. it needs to make a strength saving throw, I think. Which yes. I can guarantee you it failed, because now I'm rolling dice uh, that are very similar to uh, Sam's dice. <laughs> All it's right. Uh, okay. So, it, it, I, can it be knocked prone in the water? Uh, <laughs> yes. It, it's, it's, there's, there's some way that it, yes, it's going to be turned on its oh. side or something. So, Adrastos and uh, Ariad are both on kind of the same side and just tug. <laughs> just torque it over. Just, we're just going to log roll this thing. Um, yeah, just canoe flip it. Yes, exactly. Uh, wonderful. Excellent. Cool. Excellent. Yes, it is now prone with a ballista right. stuck inside of it. I love it. Uh, well, if it's prone with a ballista stuck in the side of it and you guys barrel rolled it, that means you're underwater. Just a reminder. Yes. So, yes. Okay. Not a problem. You're holding your breath. All's good. Uh, Ptolemaeus. Back to me. Uh, we all see. The other creatures now, right? Just kind of float up, or at least in the uh, yeah, water. They're, they're around, and it's it's kind of like their watch. It's kind of like that scene uh, of the I can't from Galaxy Quest with all the little rock guys, you know, taunting on the rock monster. It's kind of what you've got going on here. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I will, if that's the case. Uh, seeing this will look over to Agrios and just be, you do what you do best, and I, I'll also try to help us get, get us out of here. And uh, give him a uh, bardic inspiration mm -hmm. and pick up rowing where Prime stopped. Okay, so you're going to assist with that, okay? Yeah, um, and I'll also continue to keep watch with what's happening in the water as much as I can. Okay, uh, I'm going to put movement and such on Tikaros's turn, so we'll we'll consider all that and handle the boat's turn on that point. So. Perfect. Right, Vara. Cool. I'm going to start chomping at the little dudes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I it seems like everybody's got a lobster in a pretty good spot. So, and it seems like because when you're saying good, like, are they? Does it seem like this lobster would be doing what it's doing if all of these creatures weren't encouraging it to? Give me an insight check, please. Perfect. Insight. Uh, insight the lobster very bad i'm shark so um seven <laughs> shark goes oh, oh no. <laughs> you're, you're not you're not really Fish. sure is this thing is now on its back flailing its little tiny legs and its big claws in the air as it has uh, two people dangling from its back from sharp objects <laughs> yeah it's a bit hard to read someone who's <laughs> <laughs> in that kind of scenario um yeah see i don't know i just seemed based on what i saw initially it seemed like it's not necessarily aggressive it's just being spurred on by these creatures so i'm gonna start attacking these bitches um all right so i'll just kind of like i i feel like this entire time i've just been kind of casual like swimming swimming around watching and then all of a sudden i'm gonna just snap at this one right next to me near the shipwreck well and think three-dimensionally they're at the surface and they're watching, observing, and enchanting on this. So you're below them. So they are not paying attention to you. Perfect. Yeah, no, if I if I can kind of just go for because they have tails, right? Or do yep. they do they have legs as well? Or just tails? Uh no, just tails. Yeah. I was about so, to say, nibble them toes. Yeah. So if their <laughs> if their tails are some it'll almost be like horror movie. Like I just want to like <laughs> like grab the tail and, and drag it down. Um with my bite so let me try to do that to this dude which one are you going for the one right next to me near the shipwreck okay <clears throat> um and that will be where hello roll 20 
<laughs> it's an eight. <laughs> does an eight hit? <laughs> uh, no, it does not. Lovely. Cool. So I, I go for it, and my depth perception is messed up, so I just like, oh, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> All right. Cool. That'll and be that any for movement? me. Yeah, any um, movement outside of snapping at this thing? Let's see. No, I think I'm okay where I'm at, actually, for now. Okay. Or no, right. I'm so sorry. I lied. If I come over here, I'm going to... Because I'm below water, would they would me passing by these creatures give them an opportunity attack? I think well, I think the not... one that you attacked you had to be close enough with if you come out of its range, it will have an attack of opportunity. But okay. the others I would say no because three dimensionally you could stay outside of their range. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swim away and come towards this spot over here. All right. Well that one uh have with you having snapped at it and a shark coming up. Uh, it is going to uh, be a little bit irritated at you. Sure. So let's have it uh, reach out and attempt to smack you with its claws. Uh, and it does. It tries to claw at you, but you're faster than it is, and it misses you greatly. I okay. rolled worse than you did. So. Oh, nice. By the way, get in there. I want dice that have the killer instinct. You obviously don't. Yeah, geez, there's that one day where you rolled like four twenties in a row. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna happen now though. So, Thank anyway. goodness. All right. Cool. With that, first thing that's going to happen is our uh, lobster creature is going to use its movement to right itself. And while you guys are fairly good sized, uh, you did not grapple it, so I am not going to say that it's going to have much resistance from you in doing this. It is going to spin back over, and it is going to move towards the boat and reach out with its claws and uh, attempt to strike the boat with each claw. I don't have my shield on me, bugger. Not the boat. Um, that's two nat ones. Yes! Hell yeah! Oh. Perfect. Oh. I didn't even have to do anything. Come, I'm, go, come, 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 I'm going come, back come, to throwing come, my come, dice. Come, okay, anyway. <laughs> Amazing. It attempts to get so the boat. So your dice, Sam's dice did bring balance to the... Oh, it my did. God. Oh, my God. Let's go. Hell Don't yeah. get me started. I will tell you how Anakin fulfilled the prophecy uh -huh. and brought her knowledge <laughs> to the Force. <laughs> but I just wanted her to eliminate the Sith, but that wasn't the prophecy. <laughs> And since we have come around and we are back at the top of the initiative order, I think it's time to take a break. <laughs> In the midst of a battle trying to boil a lobster for dinner or something like that. And Tikaros, <laughs> you are up. I am acting captain. The words go through her head. And she just focuses all her energy on getting this boat out of danger with Tolly on the oars. I give you a big wink and I put on my best captain stance and I man those rudders. All right. And we now have two people on the oars, which is going to give us uh, our normal speed. So as you push out with this thing, it is going to allow you to move 20 feet. So where would you... 20 feet from the center of boat, where we're at, where would you like to be, Tikaros? You're in charge of okay. the river. I am... A yeah. quick question. Yes. Each square on this map right now is 20 feet, right? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> I had to do some balancing for uh, stuff with the, the mock-up of the ship, so... Yeah, they're a bit longer than they need to be. So... I will continue on this current trajectory. So just trying to make a path through these grinning, strange, giggling creatures okay, in I'm the direction it's currently some, facing. All right, I'm going to move some tokens so I can even grab the boat. So there we go. So I'm going to move yeah. this down to about right there. And everybody, let's see, those two are still, you know, lobster mounted or whatever you want to say. And everybody else is down here. 
Excellent. So you've gotten the boat to move. Is there anything specifically you want to do, Tikaros? You said you're on the rudder. Are you going to take any yep. other actions? I think I would. I will take a bonus action. What I will do, I think, is use up two of my sorcery points to quicken spell so I can cast a magic missile at the lobster. I just want to do this cool. I just stick my hand out. I trace a Greek star in the air. And I just let forth some magic missiles with my quick and spell ability. Awesome. So I think we'll just do this at first level. My companions have got this. They're going to be fine. <laughs> so that did a massive two damage, but it looked really cool. <laughs> I, I see this the star forming and then these little <laughs> rocket-like things taking off and little sparkles <laughs> flying from the back of them. And they ping, <laughs> hit the lobster. And... Oh, wait. No, roll 20 did that wrong. It's only done one missile. Stand oh, by, well, please. Roll me another missile. Because it creates three darts. Yep. Stand by, Tam. Operator error. Two right. plus four plus right. five. That's more like it. I'm like, two damage? How does that work? 11 points of damage all up. All right. Take that. Starry, starry damage. Got it. This lobster is beginning to look a little rough. It's got cracks all over yeah. its shell. Uh, it's oozing in a few places. Uh, definitely not in prime shape anymore. Speaking of which, time is up. And uh, he no longer has a javelin because he threw it. Um, so he is just going to uh, man the oars at this point. And I'm going to pass him by for that, which leaves us to Adrasto. Uh-oh. We've lost an Adrastos. Let me no, see I'm here. If there's... I just, my camera's oh, okay. not on. <laughs> Yeah, right. I okay. pointed my camera away so you didn't have to see me noshing on food, but I'm still here. <laughs> and I'm here now, too. Hello, your captain is back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so I'm just going to piston stab this lobster just on top of it. Just, gah, gah, just, just like stabbing it with like a lobster fork. <laughs> um, I, I have this I view of I have this view of Rico from Starship Troopers on the back. Of the <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, I would like to use a fainting attack. I don't know how I would do that. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, fainting Yeah, I'm not attack. sure how that would work in this, in this situation. Um, um, I guess because it can't see me. Yeah. I don't know. Or I could just not do it. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I would do it mechanically, so it's okay if, if you want me to not. Uh, I'm. If there's not a way to make it work, I I hate for you to lose your advantage on it, but I'm not sure that it would fit. No, it's it's totally so. fine. I'm I'm fine with just trying to hit it. Um, eighteen. Uh, that is a hit, I do believe. Great. I lost my window. Uh, ooh, max damage. Uh, so fourteen. All right. And then I will stab it again. Uh, that's probably going to miss. 14? Uh, that's a miss. Okay. Um, but you said this thing's looking kind of rough? It is looking very rough now. All right. Time for uh, action search. <laughs> More stabs. Uh, 15. Uh, that's a miss. Okay, and last attack. 16. That's Going a hit. Going up sequentially. Yay! Uh, for 9 damage. All right. Uh, with this lobster, uh, I think it might be a little bit more than an hour, actually. Somebody was asking how long to cook it. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by the chat for a moment. Excellent. This creature is in very poor shape at this point. Um, but it is still moving. 
I haven't skipped anyone, I don't think. Didn't I we? thought we I thought it was the initiative count ten. I thought it was in the Tikros's turn. There's a turn missing. Whenever we And it it was in order. Did it resort? No, it I... was it's it's Tikros was at ten and Agrios is at nine, but right now yeah, Tikros' no turn is gone. Tikros' turn is completely gone, yeah. Yeah. Weird. What in the world is going on here, Roll Twenty? Always. Good. I am truly beginning to dislike this tool. What was your uh ten? Go take girls. All right. And, and and real quick just for just for logistics mm -hmm. state, um since the squares are twenty feet. Does that mean the lobster is 40 feet by 40 <laughs> feet long or large? He's pretty, he's large. Yes. Big old fish. Oh, he Got is it. a large. Absolutely. The, the, the other creatures, which by the way are Grindy Lows, because you might as well call them by their name. Uh, they are mediums. So they are, they are not as, as huge as they look on there, but then neither are you guys. So I promise in the future, I'll try to make maps more the scale, right. but I was trying to balance between the big boat and this one. So whatever, sue me. <laughs> <laughs> Enough excuses. Let's get on with the battle. Uh, Agrios, I do believe you got missed. So let's go ahead and do yours, and then we'll catch back up into the uh, right order. All right. My apologies. No worries. Yeah, I'm going to head April. up here, so uh, to like the edge of the boat. Um, okay. I assume there's still a lobster there, and my friends are still there uh, relatively within range of... Yeah, it's moved. The, the, the boat's now... You're going to have to go to the back of the boat to get close to it, but yes, it's still near enough. I'll do that. I'll do that, and oh, as much as I want to attack, I'm going to go ahead and cast Crusader's Are you going to heal it? Oh, I misunderstood. I thought you were going to heal the lobster. I just... I'm going to cast Crusader's Mantle, and uh, every friendly creature, including myself, within 30, in a 30-foot radius, uh, deals 1d4 radiant damage whenever they hit with a weapon attack. Oh man, I wish we had had that before I went. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, you should have. But, yeah. Okay, how many hits did you score? I believe you hit two. three times. Was it I hit two? twice. Roll those um, d4s. Yeah. Roll the d4s. It, it was my air. Well, it's roll twenties error. It was roll twenties error. It was roll twenties. But I'm going to but I'm going to accept it as DM that it was my <laughs> error. Five so radiant nice. damage. Five radiant damage. All right. It is now. You get this wonderful smell of uh, cooked seafood in the air as this thing takes <laughs> a little bit of radiant damage there. All right. Is that it, Agrios? That I'm I'm a well, you know what? I still have one bonus action left. What can I do with that? Absolutely nothing. Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay. In that case, Ariana. Hi. Um, I am going to move so that I'm a little bit closer to the boat. Um uh, but in doing so, can I retrieve are are my pieces still stuck to it? Your shield fell off into the water. Okay. So it is gone. Uh, your short sword is still hanging there. So you can attempt to fetch it if you want to. I think that'll be your action to do that, to move over and do that. Yeah, okay. I will do that. Okay. Um, and... I, yeah, I will fetch my sword. I will move a little bit closer to the boat. Um, and then I... I think I will cast just, divine. Sorry, just to just to stay in since you're burning an action to do this and to stick with the the actual as written for this thing. Give me a strength check. Let's see if you can pull your sword loose from it. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, seventeen plus. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. That's good enough. Okay, cool. Um. And if I was to cast divine favor on myself, do those radiant damages stack? It's from a other source, so 
Yeah, I don't see so, why right? not. Fantastic. Uh, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Divine Favor on myself. Very cool. A D4 and a D4. All right, that is my turn. All right, Ptolemaeus. I am still rowing. Okay. And I think I will. Hmm. I think I'm, I'm going to spend the turn. Can... Go ahead. Sorry. I just saw. I just saw a chat message that broke me up. Go ahead. <laughs> I think I'm going to spend the time. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the time to focus on rowing okay. at this point, and also, um, I'll specifically keep an eye out on seeing what's happening with Varus, seeing as how everybody's piling on that lobster. Um, yep, you can't see Vara at the moment because sure. she is underwater. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, make yeah. I'm just making basically not necessarily Vara, but but. But having a notice of all the creatures that are around. Well, most, I, I will do this. You will notice a couple. First off, I will give advantage to Tikaros when we get back around to the next boat thing because you're putting so much effort into the rowing. But also, as you're looking around, you notice um, the creatures who were cheering. They seem to have gone from cheering to a little bit of anger. And they uh, they look as though they might be contemplating attacking themselves. I mean, attacking the both themselves, not attacking themselves. That would be. <laughs> it's like, oh, they don't, they don't need to do that, but they also don't need to do the other thing. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll just keep, keep an eye out on them for now. All right. Yeah. Shark lady. Varish shark. That's do -do 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 -do. me. Varish. I'm gonna keep singing that forever. Perfect. Cool. I'm doing a bit of the same. Hopefully, with better luck because i have pack tactics um so i will go ahead and make this roll twice do, 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 do. Uh, okay the better was a 16 to hit okay and i assume you're going for this one here yes the one right next in. to me yeah the one right so next three to me piercing okay. uh so that is a hit with three piercing all right very good. Nice. I, would, uh, I would love to roll well as a shark. That would be cool. <laughs> it, it, howls out, it howls out in pain as you bite into it. Err, bite. Is shark that it for anger noises. Turn? Yes, I'll go ahead and stay here and continue to aggress. All right. Uh, you bite this creature, it screams out in pain, and suddenly the water around it fills with a 20-foot radius cloud of this murky black ink and hmm. uh it is now heavily obscured and uh you really can't see what is going on Vara. shark has blind sight okay so you can see through that with that all right very good perfect so let's see lobster uh lots of people attacking stabby stabby on it it is not happy um it is going to go out with one claw for the boat. Let's see if it can get a, a smack on it. Oh my, and I think it finally does. That is going to be a 23 hey, uh, as well, it reaches out. Go on ahead. the 23, can I reaction silvery barbs? <laughs> okay. Poor guy just can't catch a break, can he? There's my pins. So that would be a whopping um, 13 slashing for the damage on that attack. Very good, Tully. Keep that crustacean in his station. I will also give the... Uh, I'll give the uh, advantage to Adrestos on the Silvery Parts. Right. Very cool. The other creatures now that have gone from being happy, jaunty, to uh, both inking the sea and being a little bit angrily angry are going to uh, 
take it out on the boat and you all. So we're going to have a few of them move in here. Uh, these four, let's see, the boat is, this guy's going to move in there. This guy's going to make it to there. These guys, however, will be able to get to the boat. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to move them and some things are not behaving like they're supposed to. I got to know. Duvar, Duvar's shark teeth count as weapon attacks? Yeah. Okay, well then remember to roll your D4 uh, radiant damage as well. All right. Oh, good point. You're, oh. you're inside of my aura. Neat. Do you want me to go I'm ahead ready. and do that retroactively? Yep, go ahead, absolutely. The D4 you said? I think yeah. two. All right. So he inks even more than he inked before. So beautiful. <laughs> yes, that's what he's going to do. So uh, first thing that's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to mark the one that you are fighting with so that you can see him clearly. And then I'm going to mark this other one. Uh, the blue one is going to uh, dive down uh, looking for you to see if it can find you first. Good luck. And no, uh, I'm going to say no, it is unable to locate you. So that one is not going to be able to attack you. Ha -ha, so I'm a shark. Got at least a couple of them out of the way. Uh, however, we have two of them close enough to the boat that they are going to attack the boat. And they are going to do this with their claws. <laughs> and they're both going to fail miserably. Somebody cursed my dice. That was a four and a one. <laughs> um, we have another one that is... Uh, it's because internally I was thinking, no, you cannot hurt the boat. <laughs> Vara will be so upset. We have another one that is close enough to attack Ariana. So it is going to go for Ariana. And, okay, that is a 20, a dirty 20, but a 20 nonetheless. That'll do it. Even if she had her shield. Yeah, I guess you have to get oh my. rid of my shield. Uh, that is going to be eight slashing damage. Yikes. And then, and I also uh, need you to uh, make an athletics check or a strength check. Cool. I know um, athletics is better for you, so. Normally better at that. We'll see. I'm plus five. Uh, uh, I'm lucky. I'm going to use a luck point. Don't That's forget you got 20. that D6. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, net 20 on that. All right. Then you are able to break free as it attempts to grapple you, but you did take the damage from the bite. Yeah. So that's all it's going to be able to do to you so far. And I think that's going to be everybody on its side for this turn. So, Tikaros, you are up. Ah! Nobody touches Vara's boat! Acting Captain Tikaros! Is moving this on out of here. Full speed, Dolly. All right. Uh, I don't actually give the thumbs up. I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you are as you are trying to move this this ship, uh, these creatures are surrounding it. Um, you're staying within melee range of most of them, but I will say, uh, future moves. If you move out, that there are attacks of opportunity against the ship. So keep that in mind as well. But I am going to move us down here to that yeah. point. Okay. Any other actions you want to take? Remember, you have an advantage hanging out there if you want to do anything with the ship. Aside from movement. Because movement's just a natural you can do. So. Actions with the ship. Nobody's on the ballista or anything cool like that at the moment, are they? Unfortunately, there's not. But you might be able to command somebody to the ballista. Or you have enough movement. You could make it to the other end of the ship. But then who's going to do the rudder? Prime is still on the boat? Uh, yes, he's rowing along with uh, Ptolemaeus. Of course, that's why we're moving so well. Damn it. I don't know what to do. No, I'm holding. I'm holding. Okay. I'm not going to do right. anything else. Right. Decisions are hanging out there. All right, very good. 
All right, so you've got it moved, and I believe we were up to Agrios this time because it didn't delete him or anyone else. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, wait, the boat has moved away from the lobster creature now. Is that right? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. There's so many uh, icons, it's so hard to see. Should I have been yeah. should I have been should I have been moved away or should I have been left where I yeah, am? Yeah, everybody should have moved with it. I don't have the tokens All moved, right. so so we're not so we're uh, we are away from the lobster critter now? A little we bit. Lost Technically I should have probably given it an attack of opportunity, but I'm not going to. We lost Vara and now she's back. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. internet dropped. I'm back. Hello. I'm internet familiar with that. Did I get everybody back in the right place? I did. Hallelujah. Okay. How, Carry on. How, how far away is the, is the lobster thing? Uh, with as much as you've moved, about 10 feet. That's what I'm going to give it. Okay. That's not bad. Good try and hit it with some things. I was really hoping to get some weapon attacks in there. I could throw an axe or a javelin. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, then again, we're probably. Does it seem like it's going to be chasing us? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell at the moment. It lashed out at right. uh, the boat, but it's also uh, not looking very good and uh, still got a uh, very large uh, Leonin on its back. Stabby, stabby. That's true. That's very fair. All right, maybe I can help out that guy, whoever he is, the mysterious stranger. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to hmm, I'm going to fire off a He's still within my radius, right? He, he still gets my bonus for He's within 30 feet of me. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, I'm going to fire off a guiding bolt at this thing, just level 1. Okay. Let's Please, please don't screw me this time. Aha. Here we go. That is 23 to hit. That's a hit. That is 14 radiant damage. And... Uh, the next attack roll made against this target before the end of my next turn has advantage. All right. Uh, and that's about all I'm going to do right there. All right. Very good. As I try to help my blood. <laughs> Prime is still at the oars rowing, and he's going to... Uh... Captain, is there anything you want us to do? Or just keep rowing? Did you just call me Captain? That sounded really good. Keep rowing! <laughs> Alright. So Prime will continue to row. Adrastos! As you are right. on the back of riding, riding, riding lobster bronco? I don't know. Nothing's going to sound not dirty, however I say that. I, um, uh, I have this lobster wonderful is... imagining. <laughs> the lobster's not looking very good at all. That's all I was going to say. Go ahead. I have this wonderful imagining that it's just turned into like a game of Shadow of the Colossus and the Guiding Bolt is taking the shape of that sigil. <laughs> so I'm going to play the Shadow of the Colossus protagonist and drive my sword into the sigil. All right. You have my advantage, by the way. Yes. And I also have advantage. Oh, the okay. I gave you, I doubled up for the advantage. I shouldn't have done so that. So much advantage. Know. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, 19. He does get more than one attack. Uh, that's a I hit. Um, okay, do I still have the D4, Agrios? Yeah, you still have the D4. Awesome. Absolutely. As long as you're within 30 feet of me. Uh, then that is going to be 10 damage. That's more than enough. It only had one hit point left. Oh, oh yay. <laughs> so then it really was Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Everything slows down just. As you uh, hit this creature 
it lets out this horrendous moaning noise as its claws go limp and its body just rolls in the water. Uh oh. Cool. Um, so I will stow my sword. Um and can I draw a javelin as a bonus action? Because if not, I I'll have, just I have no problem okay. with you drawing the javelin. Cool. Go for it. Then I will take out a javelin from my back. Um and try and attack this critter that is next to Ariana. Okay. Uh, and because it is a javelin, I don't have a disadvantage for fighting in the water. It's like I'm learning. <laughs> um, oh, buddy, you are not going to have a good day, Mr. Bendy Low, because that's a nat 20. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, the one you don't want getting a nat 20 is the fighter. <laughs> All right. Um, so that is a d6, 2d6. Oh, no, it's max plus roll. Max plus roll. So Correct. it's going to be. Um, 17 damage. Okay. Did you remember to roll my d4? I was about yes. to ask, does he still get the right. d4 on that? Yeah, okay. um, so it was... Okay, I'm sorry, 18. No, wait. Hold on, I have to do math again. <laughs> wait one. 21 damage. That's a big difference. Okay, yeah. there we go. <laughs> uh, you hit this creature, and it basically splits in half. Cool. And the calamari sinks to the bottom of the sea, whatever. So <laughs> it is gone. All right. Uh, with a triumphant roar to the sky, I will just point at the group with my javelin. And that'll be the end of my turn. All right. Very good. And, and I suppose uh, I should move myself so that I'm over kind of where it was. Probably. So, all right. Ariana. Um, I'm going to try and jump to the boat if it's still close enough. It's a little bit away. Uh, I think that's it. I think if you used your movement, you could, you could swim and get to the boat and climb aboard with no problem, but I don't know if jumping okay, cool. would be practical. Fair. Yeah. Um, she'll, she'll probably do that as, um, her action, I guess is, uh, oof, I don't know. I do have a spear, technically, but my question was, does, I think divine favor is just melee attacks? Weapon attacks. Okay, so I can do it with a spear. Um, cool. Yeah, if I can just use my movement to get back on the boat, mm -hmm. um, and then I will... Um, Probably stand next to Tikaros at the back of the boat um, and attack. I'm just going to stay here for the time being. Um, actually, I'm just going to put myself on the same place where Tikaros is. Um, and I'm going to attack the uh, guy just to the south. Okay. Uh, with a spear. And I just a regular that's guy. Spear. That's the guy I just marked with purple, I think. Rectamundo. Okay, great. Excellent. Okie dokie. So I'm going to do that. Uh, that's going to be a 17. That is a hit. Fantastic. Uh, and a spear. I'm throwing it. So it's a d6. And then d4 radiant, d4. I guess, am I still within 30 feet of Agrios? Yes, definitely. He's on the boat. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's very funny. So a one on the spear damage and then max on both the radiance. Uh, so that's going to be, um, oh, it would help my screen. I'm so, I've gotten so used to having minimum of two screens and I only have my laptop right now. And so I'm like trying <laughs> to like move everything around so I can actually see stuff. Uh, okay. 
three spear damage and okay. then eight radiant damage. Okay. Cool. He's definitely, you can tell he's been hit, but he is still up and still in one piece. He has not split down the middle yet. So. Yeah. So Adrastos is ahead of you on that one. So Sorry. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Is that it? Uh, yes, that's my whole journey. Yes, correct. Excellent. All right, Ptolemaeus. Uh, seeing the these creatures kind of swarm us, I'll just uh turn over and, and be like, Tecros, I think we need to keep, clear some of these out mm. before we continue moving forward, or else the boat's going to take damage. And seeing the spear onto the purple guy, can I use my unsettling words on purple guy? Okay. Uh, unsettling words into dissonant whispers. Uh, once again, <laughs> let me roll oh, the. Uh, bless you. The D eight is gonna be six, and then that's a wisdom saving throw. Yep. From minus no, six a, for him. That's a fail. Okay. Uh, that's. I guess I only have this one. Let me just do this one. That's 11 points of damage. Psychic damage. All right. And uh, he is deceased. Cool. I talked him to death. Awesome. You talked him to death. He, he, he puts his arms <laughs> on the side of his head and just goes under the water. Um, yeah. Uh, with the, the little dissonant whispers that I, I kind of mumble in, I will... Yeah, there's that's it. That's all I can do. I'm not I don't even have any like free action or anything to hold on to the oars or anything. So that's <laughs> that's all I can do. All right. Very good. Uh Ara Shark. I just be biting, my friend. All right. Uh, that's which all one I know. That's for? all I do. You have a red uh, one let's... and a blue one that are close enough. The red one was the one I had already bit. Before? Uh no, uh is it? Uh yes it is. I'm sorry, yes it is. Perfect. They're also close uh, together. Their numbers are piling up. Oh, you're good. <laughs> um yeah, I'll just go I just go for the red one again. Um, okay. Um so still with pack tactics, so roll twice. Do, 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 do. Cool, 16. That is a hit. Three piercing. I do I still have the radiant? Sure. Uh yeah. Perf. If you're within 30 feet of me. Oh, yeah, sure I will say yes. Great. That's another two. Ex base I rolled all the exact same things as the previous turn. <laughs> 16 to hit, three piercing, and two extra radiant but damage. That, that's that's roll 20 for you, though. You know, you there may you get go. the same numbers three times in a row. You just I am consistent. Yet, so. <laughs> all right. Very good. <clears throat> Does it seem like these because these are relatively low damage bites. Does it seem like this is helping or um, in terms of how much health they have, or have I not damaged him that much? As far uh, as considering guy, no longer being shark, if I'm uh, not doing I would say damage. that I would say that guy looks fairly damaged, but your bites are not like rending him into pieces. Uh, yeah, of But course. you're definitely doing some damage to him. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 20, I'd say he's feeling about a 7. Okay, cool. I can probably deal with that guy. Just, Good to just know. The, just kind of a, a, a broad spectrum kind of an answer. Yeah. Anyway. I'm, um, it is up to sorry. 10 damage. It's a 1d8 plus 2. I just keep <laughs> rolling the lowest damage possible. You just keep possible, rolling? So. Okay, Again, cool. it's, I blame roll 20 for that because if you look on your other have, roll <laughs> where you got the 8, it would have been a 6 piercing. So it's it's just, you know. Yeah. I have regular guy. dice. I'll, I'll switch to this. Uh, who is holding the uh, Sending Stone? Because Vara had it last time, but that was because Ariana was out. So who is currently holding on to the stone? Yeah, I would have given it back. I don't know. And That's I didn't use it either. So narratively, like, I, I did say I was, I was 
praying with it mm. at the okay, beginning so of this game. So I back. would have taken it back. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Since I never used it, I mean, it, I guess arguably you never even gave it to me. Where do you keep it? Uh, she probably has it in a pouch attached to her belt. Okay. Uh, you suddenly feel a vibration and the area where that pouch is gets, feels extremely cold. Uh, she's on the boat, so she'll look if she can, if she has time. All right. When we get around to your turn, we will. Yeah, I'll spend my action doing that. Um, but in the meantime, we have all these other creatures around here. Uh, the boat has moved some. I think that's going to disperse some of the ink because you're going to have some of the current and everything that's going on. So uh, I think our red one is going to attempt to attack back because you just bit it. It knows where you are because it can follow the teeth back to the source. And that makes sense to me, right? So it is going to attack. It is going to attempt to claw at you and bite you. Far. And the claws are going to find purchase, I believe, as that is a 22. That'll do it. Okay. Uh, however, the bite is not going to do anything at all because he horribly misses. Nice. And that is going to be seven points of slashing damage. As it knocks right. its claws across you. And I need you to make a strength check, please. This okay. is a grappling check. Perfect. I'm going to grapple a shark. He has claws. All right. That was a 11. I rolled you, it on roll 20 because I'm a dummy. <laughs> you are grappled. Stunning. As this thing now has a grip on you. So you are restrained. Okie dokes. All right. Uh, our if other I, ones. Sorry, go ahead. Question, technical question real quick. Um, if I were to wild shape out of shark, would I still be grappled in Vara form, or would the change of shape it, it give me an opportunity gra- it to It would still ungrapple. grapple okay. you. Yeah, it would cool. still Good grapple you. Uh, yeah, the only way to get out of it is to do a strength, you know, do a contested sure. strength check on your uh, turn. So. Sounds right. good. Uh, our other guys, having seen Adrastos slay the lobster and then slay their friend, uh, two of these guys are going to come in and uh, go after Adrastos. So our first one is going to attempt a claw and a bite attack on you. And I can guarantee both of those are going to fail miserably, as that is an 8 and a 13. You're right. Okay. Other one is going to come. And they're even worse. So these guys just cannot fight very well. As you know, it's the shark on your shoulder. They come in to get you and see the shark. It startles them a little bit. So they kind of miss claws. I'm very intimidating. (laughs) That happens to monsters of a certain age. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) The uh, one marker with orange here is going to attempt to claw the boat and do some damage to it. It is going to hit the boat. Uh, Can I, can I silver barbs? Again. Of course, of course. So disadvantage roll for him. Yep. Ah. Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he did yep, not. I will... He did not hit the boat. I cannot see Vara. Right? She's still underwater. She's under the water, and it the water's a little ink. You can see the effects <laughs> as she bites <laughs> things from underneath. But I would say, she unless she surfaces, there's no sign of exactly where she is. Dang, okay. I really wanted to. And you're on the opposite side of the boat, too, so. Yeah. Uh, Not being able to give her the advantage, I will instead give it to. I'll give it to Agrios again. Closest one, uh, combat wise to me. Yay, thanks. Yeah. This time, I'm probably going to attack somebody. (laughs) (laughs) I still have the inspiration. Yeah, I stole it from before. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, nice work, Tolly. As I see, you just decimated that baddie off to the side. I'm going to help clear out the beasties. I am going to hurl at this orange beastie. I'm going to attempt to hurl a firebolt as she screams, Firebolt! 
Yes, she does scream that out loud. Oh yeah, dirty twenty to hit. Hell yeah, that's yes, a, that's a definite hit. <laughs> ah, four, four, oh, and twelve damage all up. Fire damage to that all orange right. pasty. That is quite a bit. That's good. Good rolls. All right. And I'm going to yell at Prime. We fight now. Get ready, Prime. <laughs> All right. That's my turn. All right. Agrios. Agrios is going to drop his shield on the deck of the boat grabbing his battle axe with both hands and run over to assist Vara where these uh blue and blue, with the I'm, I'm not going to move him there's no space for the where the you know I'll move him right here where the blue and red guys are right over here okay and swing it uh the red one the more injured one okay uh, help out with that let's see Oh, well, this one. Ooh, so close. 19 naturally, but it's a uh, whatever. It hits. It's 25. Um, yeah, that's that's a definite hit. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be he's two handing it. So it's going to be a uh, 10. Uh, that is four plus three that is seven that is exactly what you needed As right that creature is now deceased all right <laughs> and then with my bonus action i'm going to use war priest and make another <laughs> attack uh this time against Blue. I was going to say, he's already dead, man. Oh, <laughs> Mogus be praised. I'm going to kill him again. That, that, that is a nat 20. How do we do those again? Uh, max damage plus roll. Max damage plus roll. So let's see. That is uh, 10 plus 3 for the, that's 10 plus 3 for the battle axe. So that is 13. And then okay. 4 from the radiant. Uh, which would be uh, 17. And as for what I actually rolled, I did roll four on the Radiant. And he's, four dead. On the... He's, he's, he's dead. All right. <laughs> you, you can stop. He's dead. He's Jim. dead. <laughs> he's already dead. He's already dead. <laughs> How many properties can we quote there? He's dead <laughs> lines from. <laughs> Oh, oh, Agrius looks very Dave, satisfied Dave, at having killed Dave, both Dave. of those guys. <laughs> he flashes right. Vara a thumbs up. <laughs> Glad you finished that sentence. Uh, Prime <laughs> is going. I mean, yeah. Oh, it anyway. wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> it wouldn't. He is a horse. He's not wearing pants. It's... Well, we've we've had that discussion about whether or not he was. Yeah, so, we yeah. did. Anyway, anyway, uh, Prime has now been instructed that it was time to fight. However, the only thing he has is an oar. Bless him. So he is going to stand up. Seeing that everybody on his side of the boat is deceased, uh, he is going to go over to the other side. And fortunately, these are fairly long oars, as we have talked about previously. <laughs> And he is going to club at the uh, orange one with the ore. Nice, Prime. Smack it. Wow. Good. He's actually going to hit, which surprises the heck out of me that he is going to hit. And he is going to uh, do four points of bashing damage to this thing. Here we go, Prime. He conks it on the head and it kind of... <laughs> <laughs> looks stunned for a moment and uh with that addressed us all right uh, i'm going to show these grindy lows how you do it 
Uh, so I can use my fainting attack now because I have a mechanical way to do that. So I'm going to <laughs> faint the one to the north of me. Okay. Um... Paint it out of the camera. <laughs> he fainted! <laughs> <laughs> it's a fainting attack! No, uh, <laughs> dirty 20. All right, that's a hit. Uh, just making sure I still have the D4. Uh, I think that uh, I think you're right on the edge of it with him moving to the. Yeah, I'll say I'll say since the ship didn't move, yes, you did. Okay. Uh, nineteen. Tigros, damage. you did. Okay, and you didn't say you were moving the ship, Tigros, so that's why I didn't do that. But anyway, nineteen damage. All right. Mm -hmm. He's looking. He's looking pretty bad shape. On a scale of one to twenty, he looks about a one. So. Okay. Um, I'm not going to give you those details every time, but I figure you guys are already smacking the crap out of these things. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> not, not much mystery um, anymore. <laughs> so in that case, um, I'm going to take a stab at the other one. All right. Because if the guy who's at one tries to attack me, I'll just repost him. Um, dirty 20 again. That's a hit. But I think you knew that. Yes. I would hope so. Uh, that is six damage total. Oh, well, that one's not quite so much. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, um... I'm thoroughly disappointed in you, Rastos. Expect better. I'm pretty disappointed in myself, for being <laughs> honest. Wait, I'm sorry. It's not six. It's twelve. There is a big difference there. <laughs> I I couldn't possibly do six damage. I have a plus six to my damage. That's <laughs> <laughs> why. See, so it's that's a little damage. better. I'm not. I'm not as disappointed as I was because I wasn't. I'm still quite disappointed. Sure how you arrange that. <laughs> All, right, All right. Anything else? Yeah, no, that's it. All right. Very good, Ariana. Um, this or idea or idea sounds pretty good. Uh, is there another or or is Pri or is Tolly still have it? Ptolemaeus has it. Okay, it's on the floor in front of me. That's it. I, okay. I, I I dropped it when I was when I was casting. So, uh, if I can, um, yeah, because this boat's pretty long. I won't be able to get to the ballista bolts and back. What's the range on a ballista? Uh, the range on the ballista is 120 feet. Well, 480 max, but... Okay, so if I manage to get to the front of the boat, which I think I can do, I can get yeah, to these... the ballista and then... Yeah, these things are... One of... these Sorry? things are These things are close enough to the boat, you will have to attack with disadvantage. That's the only thing I'm going to worry the about. The one that's on the Drastos? Uh, well, he's, you know what? I'm going to give, I'm going to give credit. He's far enough. Yeah, go for it. I'm just, ah. no disadvantage. Sorry if I hit you with Drastos. I, don't, I was, don't I was, that I do not, I, I was do thinking not really accept points. that apology. <laughs> if I get a ballista bolt between my shoulder blades, I'm taking it out of your skin. Ah. <laughs> this is, this is fair. I will accept this deal. Handshake deal made. Um, fantastic. Uh, so is that a, that's a ranged attack? Yep, it is, and uh, actually it'll be a plus six to hit, because you're rolling Fantastic. with the uh, boat stat. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to use Lucky on that. That's better. That's a 16. Uh, that is enough, and it is wonderful. 3d10 piercing damage. Good. I didn't want to attack you, Ariana. 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do appreciate that you didn't want to. Um... That's four, eight, and eight and seven is 15. Um, does this count as a weapon attack for the radiant uh, well, purposes? I, I will just let you know that you have done sufficient that this guy is skewered, oh. and it Fantastic. hits him so hard, it actually knocks him over and pins him to the boat wreckage. Yes. 
<laughs> took one off your hands, Adrastos. I just imagine it's like the scene from the beginning of Lord of the Rings when the arrow goes past um <laughs> Except it's Elrond's a ear. Bolt. Except it's a massive <laughs> ballista <laughs> bolt. Yeah. It shaved some of the hair off his mane. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little divot in his mane now. <laughs> Just calms it down. Yeah, uh, that's my uh, that's my thing. Excellent. So just to be sh just to be clear, uh, I believe that two of these ballista bolts have been used. That leaves eight of them on the boat for anybody who's keeping and track, which is me. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, Ptolemaeus. Oh man, time for another round of. Uh, hmm. I. I guess I'll. I'm going to move some of these corpses out of the way. Just so right. we can see what the heck's going on. They're sinking Seeing down. Seeing the fire bolts and the ore uh, bashing on this orange guy and uh, getting a little part from talking so much, I'm going to take a short bow and, and try to shoot at it then. Okay. Let's, let's see how that works out. Ooh, that should hit. That is a 23 to hit. That is a hit. Do it, does the short bow also count for the radiant damage or no? It's weapon attacks. If, Ellie, it's if it's the same as mine, attack. it's weapon. So it's a D4? Okay. I rolled freaking, okay, uh, seven, 11 damage. This one is also dead. Oh, cool. Snippy snipe. <laughs> Man, Ptolemy's is actually racking up kills this time. Woo, Hell yeah! You. <laughs> Just have to believe in yourself. Yeah. yeah. Well, Adrastos is so proud. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sun claw! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, that's my turn. All right. Vara Shark. Sick. All right. Let's let me my map keeps not centering. Um let's see. Assume that each square is about 10 feet at this point because everything would have closed in. Let's just make this a little uh easier here. Okay. Um cool. I'll go over here next to Drastos and bite the fishy next to him. Okay. Do, 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 do. Tactics, I will do twice. I keep, I sh it's just so, I see the button and I click, but it worked out this time. Um, 23 to hit, that'll be seven He's piercing. He's dead. Excellent. <laughs> He's, He's. tell me what you, your shark bite, I assume, just cleaves this guy in half at this point. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I think I think what finally kind of helped it is is a uh, address us being here and kind of already engaging nearby. It was like finally I was able to like be a sneaky shark because all the other time yes. I think I think I'm like still learning how to be shark because it's still a relatively new form to me. So I kind of have just been trying to be aggressive, and then this time I was like slinking up, and so I think that was that was what did it. It's kind of a get into that shark brain. Yeah, something clicked. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that it? For the will give the shark a few beats on his shield, just be like, "Yeah, good job." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Adrastus is just having the best day watching his friends just these destroy. <laughs> yeah, we we needed this. I gotta be honest. We did. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. So, uh, the last two creatures over here. Uh, one of them is going to look, and you're going to hear that same cry you heard at the beginning. Help! Help me, please! And the other one is going to look over your way, and you're going to hear this gruff voice. Die, you froggy bastards! Yeah. And they are both going to dive, and you're going to see as the area just fills with ink. And you lose sight of them. I'm going to hide them from you, and you tell me what you're going to do. We heard somebody say something. Where did that come from? It came from them. Oh. 
That's why it wasn't a magical ability. It's just them. They're oh. the ones imitating. They're pirate or parrot frogs. <laughs> parrot frogs. <laughs> Perhaps we should be on our way. I think Adrastos is just because he's he's in a mood. Uh, he's going to be on guard, but he's going to dive down to kind of under the lobster. He's actually going to look for Ariana's shield. Oh, all right. Give me. It's a... important to her. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a perception check as you look for Ariana's shield. Okay. Come on, D twenty. Don't fail me now. You failed me. Okay. <laughs> It's an eight. Uh, yep. It, it's apparently sunk down, and there's been so much ink in the water and the, the dirt on the bottom of this, and it is a pretty deep lagoon area. You are unable to locate it. Okay. I'll be a little dejected, but I'll come up and just put my javelin away. And as the shark is swimming around, um, I'll just kind of, with like a, a grin, uh, here to give me a ride back. Uh, yeah, I I have blindsight still as shark, so can I just, like, sense where the shield is through the ink? Give me a perception check. Okay. Because it's more than the ink, <laughs> it's the depth and everything else, so. Sure. Yeah, because okay. blindsight has a range, I think. I'm going to roll, yeah, it's 30 feet. Um, yeah. I'm going to roll actual dice this time. Nice. 15 plus 6 is 21. Uh, you are able to look around, and it takes you a little while, but you do locate the shield, but it is very deep in the water. You have to kind of um, swim down a little bit and look for it. Um, but it's just laying there on the bottom. Cool. Yeah, I'll kind of like, I'll swim a circle around Adrastos to kind of show like I'm not ready to leave yet, and then I'll dive down pick it up gently in my mouth. Uh, I was going to say jaws, but I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> Got it. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, <laughs> and then um, I'll swim back up and like hand it to Adrastos and then kind of position myself to where he could hang mouth, on to my it. dorsal. Mouth it. Yeah, I will. Mouth it to Adrastos. Yeah. Gub I'll, it over. I'll, like... <laughs> I'll attach it kind of next to my shield. So I have like, they look like a beetle with these like shield wings. <laughs> And then Double shield. Just Sea World <laughs> Dolphin experience. Ride this shark back to the boat. All right. Very good. Anyone else? Ride the shark. Just don't jump the shark. Yeah. Um, I feel like we've done that a few times over already at this point. Oh. <laughs> Okay, jumping the shark is my favorite part of a TV I series. Think so. our, I think our our show is still great. That's my opinion. <laughs> you know, I'm I was not saying against it. Going going back to the to how old I am, I watched that episode of Happy Days yes. when it first came out. So I actually <laughs> saw it when it originally. We <laughs> waited all it. we waited all week to see the conclusion of that because it was a two parter. It was. So. How did you feel about it after you saw him jump the shark? I think he jumped the shark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if you felt like everyone else did. Oh, yeah, imagine yeah, living in a much. world before jump the shark was a saying. I know. I, I it, did. Wow, so, that's incredible. I know. Imagine and, and living had, your own life. They had invented the exactly. wheel, but we didn't have fire. That was me yet, talking. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> that's the most hipster anyway. thing. <laughs> I didn't have fire. <laughs> I liked fire before it was cool. I mean, hot. I mean, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I remember when they invented chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> I always hated it. <laughs> oh. This is why I love you guys. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> So you have you have several uh, Grindylo fish creature bodies and a uh, dead lobster, giant lobster body uh, floating in the water and uh, lots of ink in the water. And uh, apparently the other two creatures have left the area. I, I recommend we be on our way before 
Any that got away, bring more. Also, we can eat those, right? Can eat anything. I was just point at the lobster, not 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 the not the grandiloes. I'm pointing at the lobster. <laughs> not that. I can we get it out of the water? I don't see why not. I mean, we'd probably want to carve it in the water. Yeah. Okay, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Jump. In my in my experience, you can eat anything. The risky part is keeping it down. Fair point. I, your wisdom is always so appreciated, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> You love uh, them. Yeah, what if we're going to carve some of this, Ariana will jump down. I think the ballista is still maybe stuck in it as a standing post to <laughs> sit there and carve some up. All right. Who, She'll um, take the big whoever, claws and some big chunk in the middle. Whoever has the uh, better modifier can roll with advantage because I believe some people were helping with this, and it'll be a survival check. You see how well Not you me. did and what you come up with. Who who's doing it? Because I'll I'll help. I have pretty good survival. I got plus six survival. I also have plus six. All right, yours is better than mine, so I will assist. Yeah, I was gonna say Var Vara might want to do this because I feel like a horse standing on even a giant lobster will be a little <laughs> off balance. All right, fair enough. Go for it, Vara. <laughs> Yay! Thanks. I'll I'll pass the pieces up to Agrios. No, it's okay. Now, Vara, I assume you've turned back to human form and you're not doing this in shark form. Or you could yes. just rip pieces I, well, off. Well, I mean, I mean I'm yeah, I mean, away. would it be more effective as shark? <laughs> that might be kind of cathartic. It'll wild shape into like a cookie cutter shark so you can have like little pieces. <laughs> yeah, like, there you go. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm going to stay shark. I think that'll be fun. Um, All right. Because, well, I, it's a wisdom, so it's it'd be the same survival. It wouldn't be shark survival, so perfect. Cool. And then I get to roll twice, right? I'm getting help. Uh, it's advantage, yes. Sweet. Okay, that's first roll is a 17. Next roll is a 23. I think a 23 is pretty good. Heck yeah. I like I like make like gourmet sashimi, dude. I'm I'm in it. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to go flat I've, with I've your... carved a I've carved a sea monster in my day. I'm I'm going to go with just straight up uh 23 uh meals is what you're able to make out of this. 23 rations wow. worth oh, wow. of food from these. Nice. And uh I'm also going to say monster. because that was such an excellent roll, um you're able to take some of the carapace from this and make a decent shield out of it. It's not a lot, but it will give you a plus one AC for as long as it lasts. So we will have to check <laughs> damage on it as it goes. Cool. Awesome. Nice. So just a thought. All well, that carving's going on. I mean, there's a whole big ship over there. And like, people don't need the stuff that's on it. So what if I just went and had a look what stuff there is? Like, we need it more than people who aren't here anymore, right? That's probably true. Seems fair. I yeah. also feel like those those two creatures probably just more fearful of us than wanting retribution. I'll keep a lookout, but I think we have a little bit more time. Okay, goodbye! Tikaros is already <laughs> diving into the water and going to have a look at the ship. All right. Uh, give me an investigation check. Is anyone going with her? I, I will. will. <laughs> <laughs> I found okay. okay. No, we both will. Okay, yeah. so I uh, have advantage on that, Tikaros, because I assume your investigation's the higher modifier. It is. Previous it is not. Like, Tikaros thinks it is, but it is, <laughs> it is actually a minus. So she oh, will. No. But. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's the funniest oh. thing about her. She thinks she's amazing. Did she rolls with she she had me fooled. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. good. She rolls with a minus one investigation every time, but just believes she's gross. doing her, her best thing. <sighs> so she's gonna do it with advantage because she's got help. Yes. 17 minus one is 16. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. A six a 16 is not bad. A 16 is not bad at all. Hold on just a moment. Actually, I'm not going to roll this. Roll me a d20, please. Ooh. Okay. 
That is a 10. Right. Give me a moment while I find my list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? 10. A 10. All right. You find, first off, you're going to find some gold pieces. I am going to roll for that. You find six gold pieces. Ooh. You find a, uh, con a small container that's apparently got some kind of a liquid in it. Uh, it appears to be reddish in color. Excellent. Uh, I hold you it also, up to Ariana. You also, Sorry. you also find a gold ring. Uh, probably about five gold pieces worth of a value to this thing. That's what you get for digging around. Cool. I do show the other two the weird liquid thing and say, oh, I'm sure maybe Prime or Tolly could tell us what this is, maybe? I'm sure. Probably. And I divvy out a gold piece each because I'm going to give one to everybody. Aww. <laughs> nice. Nice. Right. Oh, yeah, we'll head back to the ship. Okay. Uh, you make your way back to the ship. Uh, there's a few minor scratches on it, but not any major damage. I mean, nothing got a really good purchase on it. So, you know, just normal uh, out on the sea type stuff. It'll buff out. It'll buff out. It's wood, but it'll buff out. <laughs> okay. What would you like to do from this point? Well, the captain's back, so what does the captain want to do? Leave. Yes. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Ten years. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Good. Yeah. So uh, good you move on down. There's another uh, set of rapids here, but it'll be a fairly easy one to make your way down as you uh, are now on the final stretch of this river towards Melitus, mm. and that is where we will have to pick up next time. Because Yay. Yeah. We got to go for the night. So uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I hope you had fun destroying my creatures. I was really hoping the metal-absorbing shell creature would do a little bit more, but, you know, uh, you can only steal so many weapons and then get them back. So. <laughs> so <Our> shield. <laughs> it's so sad. I was really hoping you wouldn't get it back. I know that's horrible. Oh, I no, it's... Really it's <laughs> We need it's some perfect. loss in here somewhere. But, well, you know, and and the best so part is, is like both her fighter fighting style and her paladin fighting style are both dependent on shields. Oh, so it's like, it then. literally like wipes her out and it's so good. And <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, before we go, I will remind you that uh, you had a message on your sending stone. Oh, right. Oh, yes. Goodness. <laughs> yep. Uh, she'll, she'll check it. She'll check it to see what it right. is. It says, Hi, this is Ariana. Sorry, I couldn't get you. Leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It says, uh, we've been trying to reach you about the extended warranty on our ship. <laughs> <laughs> she throws it into the lake in the river. <laughs> uh, it says, three of us have left to check out the river. How is your journey faring? When will you make Melitus? Uh, when should we get to Melitus? A few um, days. Let's at your see. Current, yeah, at mean, your current rate of travel, uh, probably a couple of days. Perfect. A uh, few days to Melitus. Um, faring well with a few bumps. Okay. You have up to 25 words, so that's I'm just making sure that's what you all you want to say. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how much I can say to this because because I know that there is a limit to these. <laughs> all right, very good. Very well. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, I think we've wrapped up all those open items for this time. So we will uh, end for the day.